Welcome back everyone, you're watching Tornus Entertainment where we stream masterpieces looking for hardcore breaking games and today I bring you something something that probably 99.9% .9 of you haven't heard at all or seen or anything it's the, um, the new release on Steam um, a solo project that is by the the artists of the gacha game called uh, Girls Frontline uh, I think it was released in 2016 and became quite popular in fact. So yeah, artists are that are obviously earning a lot of money through these amazing uh, commissions and artworks. Decided to jump into game development apparently and create this, a Tetra Cube. And the reason, if you I gotta ask me how I discovered the game, well I have a few people on like Twitter and other places that me for interesting in releases and stuff like that, more obscure games like Hidden Gems and just some some z almost to zero marketing stuff kind of games, which by the way this game is also falling into that category. I also personally check like on Steam uh, for specific tags that I really enjoy, uh, rare type of genres like Gridder or the, the general like tactical games of all kinds. So I just check them out and see what I personally want to experience and all that. It's one of them. Uh, so uh, quickly to describe this game, it's gonna be one of those um, puzzle kind of battlers, so fast-paced in uh, small rooms uh, and uh, one game I could give you an example of it is gonna be Interbreach. You don't have the team or the squad or something, you control like two characters here and one of them can mind control uh, uh, enemies, robots in this game. So I guess you can have three party members, plus there's random NPCs in the safe and or kill and stuff like that. So also this game features a lot of uh, micromanagement on resources uh, since it's uh, you have like limitations and uh, uh, all sorts of variety of upgrades and the usable actions you can I guess find and customize your characters with. And the goal is to reach the end. So. Um, you start the campaign, try to reach the final floor and defeat the, I guess, the cube here, right? The, the, the boss here, that cube that did something awful. Yeah, pretty simple concept. Uh, and I mean, there's nothing gonna be here crazy, of course. Uh, it's a solo project once again with a, a small budget and basically no, no hype, no marketing here. It's just a solo kind of like personal thing, which is awesome, by the way. Uh, so once a shout out to everybody who is uh, liking and retweeting the, the announcement tweet for this game. Um, and uh, yeah, just kind of have a queer few of fun. In fact, I've been stuck, uh, obviously I'm cutting it for YouTube stuff, but you don't know. I've been here listening already to the main menu, for instance, the track here. The music is pretty good, yeah. Uh, not just that, but during the game and combat music, it's... Uh, it's uh, definitely on a level. Well, uh, from the credits I've seen, uh, uh, the, the, it's technically not solo, I guess, but I guess like from what view you see, look at it, it the, the music is done by another person, so commissioned, and uh, I mean, no surprise there, of course, since it would be really uh, insane to pull everything, really, not just like programming the game design and all that, the art. Um, yeah, and besides, where the hell are the more games in a style of Into the Breach, really? Um, all these puzzle stuff, I enjoy that, even though it's not for everyone and, you know, some of them don't have repeatability here, yeah, which is true. But yeah, we need more of that stuff anyway. And yeah, hey Snapcom, you, you, sh you just, uh, you just like three minutes like a little bit too late three minutes earlier I started describing everything it's a solo project by the D-Doll or Doll I don't know how to pronounce him it's a, a, a illustration artist person for the girls frontline gacha and um, obviously especially outside of Korea like I'm pretty sure nobody even knew the existence of this game right I'll let YouTubers know. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, somebody. I'm checking here. Discord and Twitter, and meanwhile, 
It seems like everybody's tweeting about their vax thing, like, oh, I got the vax. It's like, what if you don't tweet about your vax thing? Uh, does that mean that you don't have, have it? What if you actually did the vaccination for COVID and you didn't post it on Twitter? Like, do you even have it? <laughs> it's like, everybody been posting it, like, I don't know. It, it, it's the most important thing in their life uh, that they have to do it post on Twitter. And yeah, I, I don't know, like, I'm just seeing it too much here. Right, um... Let's go the new uh, run. I mean, I haven't actually did a tutorial here, but so we're gonna do it together. So there's two difficulties, like I said, the default and hardcore first, I'll be playing on hardcore, even though it's like Iron Man, I guess. We can make a self-made Iron Man, so like permanent death without safe coming. Though, I don't think it's a good idea, because I see in this game it seems like you can die... Like, you can just die quite a bit a lot or get unlucky like spawn a room or something and uh, if you don't have these heal things there you, you're just screwed you cannot even win the battle right it's like every battle you'll get full hp back so yeah hardcore difficulty resources will be limited even more and you are unable to backtrack i'm not sure why you even need to backtrack the previous four it doesn't sound like a i mean it, we're not playing some hardcore roguelikes uh, here like sort of the story of the pit where you can do that but yeah the idea is, so there's a limitation in terms of movement every movement costs a battery charge which uh, it's a it's a currency of the game yeah and um so the idea is that sometimes you might not even want to explore the full floor and just go to the next uh, st st stage uh, right so to save uh, resources but I don't know if it's gonna be cost effective or not, but returning back backtracking to previous floor, I don't know why I should do that. Yeah. Anyway, play the tutorial. Yes. We can do that. Since I I decided not to do it offline and all that. So the game features a couple of these um high resolution ar um arts from the, the creator, obviously. It's gonna be rotating here. The cube you need. Hey, the J. Health is under our system. Brain. Oh yeah, we started with uh, quite a little HP uh, amount here. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade. So I'm not going to be uh, skipping since the first time. I, I I believe if you actually start a new run, you I don't think you can skip that at all unless well outside of the. Um, the skip tutorial thing. Uh, there's a lot of NPCs and other survivors, rescuers there. So there's a lot of like talking actually to be done. Um, and if you already seen it, I guess it's not something you need to, uh, you need to worry about. So, uh, secrets? I'm not sure about secrets. We can ask the developer if uh, he's not or she's not sleeping right now. It's uh, night time for Korea or morning, I guess. I think it's still it should be like night right now. No, but yeah. So, this keep we're after, what sort of thing is this? Something to be cautious. I don't know what abilities this one have. So, just a quick, uh, um, just a quick, uh, I guess, reminder that we, c we control only two characters the entire game. Oh, this one is human, uh, this one is robot with the uh, uh, multicolored eyes. Last time I encountered one, it uh, exploded out of nowhere and engulfed everything around it. Oh no. Think about it, it's so quiet. There's no one at the dock. Maybe the keep already caused an incident here. Can you see something with your eyes? And first shielding us through the each wall here, so I think I have no choice but to see it in person. Let's hurry. Yeah, I wonder how c good quality of English in this game is gonna be since, uh, un like, unless the uh, developer itself is very good in uh, English as well. Like, who did the, the translations and all that? Can you backtrack life? <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see map uh, on the top right of the screen to another room. Rooms so you can currently move to market and bloom. I thought you can do it with the zoom as well, but I guess not. Ah, yeah, you have to click there. This, g this game is gonna use a lot of keyboard shortcuts, so yeah. Let's click where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess you can see that. Important item for upgrades. Tab. All right. 
it, sure. That's, that's fair. What is that? I guess it's ah, it's upgrade button here. Yeah. Alright. So you don't have to move like if uh, the 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 tile, let's say, of the map explored, you just you know, click that and go here, right? So get teleport, and if there's uh, combat units, you get into fight. So pretty simple, yeah. The action, your turn is over now. All right. Um, it is written by Tiny Lettering, Brain Science Institute, Alpha Centauri System. What does? Oh, sorry, I I clicked. The more one more time and skip something there. Do they can do research on a brain? Moving, click and drag an ally to move them. Some people said that they kind of like don't like the the fact that the only way you can control is by dragging. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me at all. But what's the point of moving in this place? There's nothing here. <laughs> There's nothing. The open the door is already green. Oh yeah I need to learn how to rotate camera. I think it's well, let's see if it's not QE, I guess maybe with a uh, uh, mouse, if I hold the middle or something. Anyway, information, if you click on a character, you can see their stats in the lower left corner. Let's check out the more the more efficient combat. Yeah, that's very important. Open choice, defend action points. One. Okay. Yeah, the deal. The <laughs> by the way, when the developer released the game, there was a lot of uh, Koreans, I guess Japanese as well, they've been memeing about the Dio, of course, from the JoJo series there. Yeah, ah, there we go, you can rotate the camera like that, easy. It focuses on 45 degree, yeah, well, as expected since it's like a cubic game, right? It's probably hotkey for that as well, I just need to... I just need to get to the tutorial first on that. I'm sure in money to pay this. Uh, oh, by the way, now I will lose one HP with each room you move. Ah, that's what happens if you don't have batteries. Well, yeah. Uh, so if somebody dies in your party, game over. So you cannot lose any of those two characters. They're obviously important. Month scout random hanging on by thread. Is already a time for that? We can fail to deal with cube then. Even if we didn't make a mistake last time. No matter, we're hunters. As long as we're humans, we can make mistakes. Yeah, but she's... She, no, he's not a human, but... Anyway, because each cube has different characteristics, it's actually like facing a new enemy every time. So, ah, they're probably talking the cube is like a map itself, not the final boss. So the, they're talking about the random generated, like, layouts, I guess. Don't blame yourself too much. We need to succeed this time. I'll try harder. Ah, there we go. You can rotate the camera by clicking. And that's a, that's the, there's no keyboard alternative for that, I guess. Items have HP. You can see you can break shit uh, with the uh, combat. It's gonna be uh, if you guys played into the breach, it's gonna be a very, very similar combat style. You push enemies, bomb them, attack them with the range, melee, like uh, do some combo wombos, and uh, all of this. And since there's only two characters, you're imagining that you have to. Oh, there's multiple ways to... Oh, no, wait. I thought the blue means it's also I can go there. Oh, it's a cutie robot with one HP. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm glad there's someone here. Let's ask for directions. Yeah, he's gonna attack you <laughs> instead. Oh, Dio, are you okay? It attacked me. Oh, look at her angry face right there. Let's fight back against security robot. Dio... Uh, click equipment and, and press number two. Right. Is that with keyboard or I can do the mouse? Okay, I can just melee that. Why I want to waste the right? Yeah, I can just melee that. I think the tutorial actually wanted me to waste the bullet there, but no. No thanks for that. Oh no, there's more robots with one HP. What I'm gonna do now? <laughs> Be careful! These robots are also hostile. Knockback system. If the blue appears on the floor, affected objects will be pushed in the direction of error. If it hits something, additional damage will be inflicted. Yep. Epic. One damage. If the box there... It does... Wait, so it actually looked like a three damage there. Is that tutorial actually correct here? I mean, it does one damage to box, but I'm pretty sure that it should do two damage instead of three, but whatever. 
Also, I believe this enemy is a bomb. Transport unit for explosive. For explosive and... Yeah, but the tutorial it displayed like 3 damage to the robots total, so there was no HP left on it. This icon means... Defense? I assume defense in this game is uh, like if you do 3 damage and with 1 defense you get only 2. So, oh, but if you do 1 damage with 1 defense you do 1 damage. Because I seen uh, another player streaming this and he tried to stack like defense, but he was still getting 1 damage constantly. So, uh, yeah, well, I hurt myself with the uh, melee attack here. I mean, if I assume that this moves here, I think it's safe. Oh, wait. Misclick. Yeah, there we go. Exploded! Defend- ah, there's a defense system tutorial. Yellow shield shape above HP bar represents defense power. A higher number, more resistance. Yep. Still one damage, even though, well, I assume that this was like multi-damage strike, yeah. Two damage right here. One. And with two shields, it's still one. Turn change, when you're out of movement, you can no longer move, and then press the button. Please. I think this guy is like a melee puncher. Yeah. So now I do have something here. Oh, she doesn't have a default attack. She got hacking skill and uh, healing. Wow, so at the beginning she doesn't even have attack. Great. You need to pay attention to this. But yeah, hacking is good to just... Uh, um, that, that, that is limited resources and all that. Plus you don't want to hack 1 HP shit. I think when you hack, you d do one damage to the enemy, so it's obviously better to hack like full HP unit. Repair no nanobots, though it's a waste. Two HP versus one. The tutorial wants you to do that, but I will not do it. Screw that. Oh no! This won't have full HP. This time, leave it to me. I'll hack it. Alright, let's use Naya hacking module. Uh, this can quickly turn a favorable battle in your favor, but only. But it can only act on one unit at a time, so be careful. Alright, so now let's do it. Damage range hacking module. Why there's these upgrades for hacking module though? Range is probably cool, yeah. Hacking level. It's the defense for hack. It uses a battery apparently, yeah. Battery use. Why there's a damage? <laughs> the thing is, every ability in the game could be upgraded later on. I've seen it's like, for instance, this repair module you can make sure you get more HP here. And well, we'll see, of course, once I get these core things. Yeah, there's the. Um, I assume this hacking level only means how hard you need to be to hack it, yeah. So it's like a hack defense in this case. So yeah, we used battery and then it lost full uh, 1 HP. So I guess it's stupid to level up damage on that thing. <laughs> Imagine leveling damage. Anyway, what was that sun alarm sound? It surprised me. Mm, sounds like that scanner. I have a bad feeling. Oh, nice. The cube just one shot at the thing. <laughs> No, no. Well, oh, survivors. Are you awake? That's a good thing. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, there's definitely some interesting choice of words here in the uh, script, that's for sure. Ram, what happened? These guys helped us. The generator was broken, so replace your power source, a temporary battery for now. So it's just a. Uh, Stop gap repair, the batteries won't last. Ah, so that's probably the excuse why I need batteries right now, yeah. We don't fix your generator, we'll be replacing that battery constantly. Your generator is a small state of art nuclear fusion machine, so it cannot be printed on a regular 3D printer due to its technological classification. Go to Maru. Maru might be able to fix your nuclear mach uh, um, fusion machine. Who is that? Central AI in this research facility. The problem is that the cube is in this facility right now. When the, when the cube first showed up, it was successfully captured. 
were not vigilant at the time because it was before the cute characteristic were revealed. If you played like Fate uh, and uh, the F Fate Extra, like CCC stuff, you may be already aware of this cube digitalization thing. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. And, uh, the characteristics of this cube is hacking. If it's a mechanical device with an integrated circuit, no matter how complex, it will be controlled. Encryption and firewalls are meaningless against it. We call it erosion. And under it, like you should have been hacked already, but you are a hunter. Then I think you can stop the cube. I have a favor to ask of you. This facility will bring of collapse. Where is the model? There's a command and control room on the sixth floor. Oh, sixth floor? Let's go. Uh, we'll go and fix an fusion generator, then we'll stop the cube. Alright, so that means that we can probably solve the battery problems by that floor. Generator is broken each time you move, one battery will be consumed. When your battery reaches zero, one HP will be consumed instead. Proficient combat keep an eye on the three status parameters, yeah. Rip stone shirt, what do you mean rip? Nothing is rip. In fact, uh, it's uh, very exciting here for the next episode there. So since I almost already died there, yeah. Uh, well, I'm playing Iron Man, so people are like hyped for me dying or something. And, um, well, it's hard to uh, overgrind the game, I mean, still kind of weak. I need to be careful there. Anyway. Yeah, the... Still scary. Alright, thanks for introduction. I guess it's still tutorial, yeah. Yeah, there we go, first uh, floor. And then we can actually start. We can open... Uh, close the inventory. Buy the icon. Yeah, you start with the basic knife attack. And uh, I guess, what is that actually? Laser cartridge fire, uh, a range attack, thermal damage, one damage for range. Mm, and of course, it have mold, uh, limited uses. So, yeah. Damage range, no back distance. It's like early game. Apparently, it's really important to figure out what's the best value to upgrade, because you can upgrade, let's say, like instead of damage, like some other statistics on every module and there's a lot of them in fact like there's nine slots in inventory yeah but um, there will be way more things to customize your characters with some freeze modules magnetic modules multiple types of weapons and uh, other utility stuff like that so from what I've seen of course now oh, there we go we got some clue here. Oh, you camera control. Oh, well, well, you can control camera with the WSD and cool. So uh, inventory, yeah, I'm great. Weapons, control dial, excuse me. Yeah, so you can control camera that way. Okay. Hidden items. There's uh, boxes. We'll loot. Indeed. So, ah, it controls camera like this. Ah. So it's not rotating it. It just moves uh, the camera. All right. Empty slot. Yeah. I misclicked. Yeah, we got the uh, cartridge thing. Yeah. Still getting used to pickups and stuff. Yeah, like <laughs> if I. Cancel, uh, cancel out the character, and like I cannot order anymore, and yeah, that's it's nothing shines, yeah, yeah. So I, I so assume the game is already like uh, pretty much the, the real game begins from here, yeah. My colleagues told me you were coming. Are you hunters? There are many experimental candidates under development in this facility. Oh yeah, um, one thing I learned like beforehand is that uh, there's plenty of rooms with like these survivors here yeah, that you can say, but some of them actually go uh, betray you and um, you have to fight them instead. <laughs> so 
I guess there's a strategy of just skipping, like, even talking with them, I guess, so, in case they're imposters. Oh no! I just made Among Us reference! She will find them very helpful and stop me that keep. Select them and drag. Alright, so I have one clearing. Unlock by clearing. Ah, so there is these things. And there's two endings. Unlock by clearing game with gamma ray cartridge. There's gamma ray cartridge. I guess it's something I have to find. Airburst cartridge. Uh, do we still play Genshin? Uh, no, if you've been following my stuff on Discord or Twitter, you would know that I I did a few posts already saying that I'm just uh, not impressed with the, how the game is going and I uh, decided to delete it. And it became like a kind of like a borderline work, honestly, for me, which is pretty bad for Gashas, yeah. I just like I, I I was literally shitting on the like, end game and everything with four star character investment. I just uh, over grinded the yeah, gear for her. But when you do 16k damage crits, almost every hit is a crit, and you do 16k damage with normal attack or charge attack, basically normal and charge. Yeah, you know <laughs> you probably done. For me personally, Genshin was the top when uh, the new sectors was explorable and finding chests and all the new quests and that. Right now these events quote unquote are just fetch quests or some scuffed mini games. I'm not a fan of that. So maybe later in the future when they introduce w way more sectors, like his Anum and stuff, uh, the ch chapter 3, maybe I'll return with some, but yeah. I I kind of like don't feel honestly even touching the Genshin. I still do really appreciate that every like I'm still in the communities and checking the arts, uh, uh, loots and all that. <laughs> the new character constantly uh, trends on Twitter. Uh, you cannot escape from this unless you literally ban every weep from my social circles, which of course is never gonna happen. There's like I, I see Genshin stuff every day, so yeah. Yeah, there's no con. There's no content. Yeah, uh, especially for tryhard, hardcore people like me who is uh, beat like ab uh, as a free to play. I beat Abyss, no problem. Yeah, and uh, it's just garbage, honestly. In terms of um, trying even harder than last time. I wonder if somebody in chat gonna recognize that reference, but yeah. So uh, this looks like a grenade module. Yeah, pretty well if it's limited though. Please install this cartridge right away. Yeah, equipping. If you equip your character with the weapon from him, it will be ready to use. So without wasting a turn. Equipping an item during consumes one action point. Yeah. 90 uh, each have dedicated items that only they can use. Now exclusive items have cross shaped frame. Ah, it's exclusive to her. So uh, its healing is only there. But I can swap her. The the deals, not sure. Let me try actually that. Where is the upgrade? Oh, oh, I have to click on the character. Yeah. So I assume I can. Nah, it seems like I cannot de equip this. So what's that? Uh, grenade cartridge. On detonation, any targets within range will be knocked back by impact. Pushing targets will take damage. Oh, sounds fun. Invalid item. It's locked by the class. Ah, this just means which character can you use, maybe, that's why. Ah, so items that are like have this uh, border means that they're locked to the knight nah, or the robot. Yeah, okay. I will keep that in mind then. Well, I need to find a module for uh, fisting or something because now I cannot attack right now. Anyway, let's go next. Room. Oh, yeah, this game also features like uh, these puzzles where you can walk on them. Hey, they work. No problem with that. Alright, see you see that shiny chat? That's the uh, loot. Don't worry, I'll try not to miss anything. Hell yeah. Searched the room and found something useful. 
Is that a key card for elevator? So I assume I need this in every floor to go next. So can I just rush those? Elevator key. Oh, okay. So it's stuck in my inventory as well. What if I have full inventory then? Hey, Yang, what's up? Just talk about Genshin and all that. How's the gate court, by the way, doing? Seems like it's kind of dead in terms of... Well, I don't know. Depends on uh, which game we're going for. Hey, okay. So, so the moment we get this cartridge thing in our inventory, I guess the game will start spawning uh, char uh, well, amount of that. So if I would not take the grenade, for instance, I would not get in until I find that module thing, right? I guess. All right, cool. And now we have a choice. Oh no, player choice. Three places to go. Player choice. All right. Yeah, the music is very cool in this game for the solo like project that you know hidden uh, hidden from the eyes of plenty gamers. That you know, just a reminder that 99% of people probably never even heard of this at all. All right. <clears throat> so we got this guy. Yeah. Actually, the tutorial didn't tell about it. Oh, they have fist. Cool. I don't have fist. Be nice. So they do like one damage. Well, good thing that this, uh, this game is, you know, similar in the, into the bridge, so the, you see the type of enemy like this and you learn it and memorize the stats, and then you never have to worry about, you know, the pl planning ahead and all that. You just know what they expect, so three movement. Is that suicide, explosion, knocks back, and impact. Penetration. How does this thing have cartridge use? <laughs> but okay. Are they gonna gank on that researcher? I wonder and explode. Well, I mean, what are my options? I have one damage right now, so. Um, I assume I can blow that thing, and I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. I could can shoot one damage, but these guys will explode anyway. One hack will destroy. Yeah, but I don't have range to do that. It's like nice look right now. I also don't know how explosion works. Is that in three by three or uh, the, the, these tiles, horizontal and vertical tiles? So if I stay here, I think, I mean, still here, this might explode in my face. Though this kind of sucks, honestly. <laughs> I mean, this researcher. So, by the way, uh, why you need to save them? They g so the amount of HP that's left by the the NPC is the free batteries. Uh, but also, you can just say fuck them and uh, let them tank everything, right? While I uh, just gonna loot here instead. What I got? A grenade. Well, I assume that if you bump into object here, yeah, for instance, this, this will explode from it if I would use grenade. Also, what is the range of grenade? I need to check that. Yeah, they're gonna gank on this. Okay, so it did uh, no damage to this guy, which means that it's not... <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> okay, so we confirmed explosion doesn't work uh, diagonally. Great. <laughs> By the way, 3 HP... Ah, this robot is the um, shooting one, yeah. Laser cartridge 3 range. Yeah, what is the range of the explosion? Yeah, if... Uh, imagine playing XCOM, the, uh, the, the explosions would be that precise, you know, not without bullshit. Snapping two tiles. Well, XCOM 2 would definitely help with that, but still. Alright, so this thing has one damage. Yep, indeed. I need to hack the robot. I don't think it's worth hacking that. Also, it costs battery, right? Not this thing. I thought it cost uh, quarters, but in that case, hacking might be fun. 
Can I swap in this game like Lightfoot and Urtuk? No, I, so I have to be mindful about uh, my position sometimes. And stuck. Alright. How much move I have? Three, yeah. Bruh. One, two, three. Actually close to this. I mean, I could hack it, I guess. Why not? Seems like useful to have a pew pew. For f that I assume that it's gonna be infinite pew pew, yeah. Oh, right, I misplayed. Uh, I, he could have moved there. Oops. I thought that I'm safe from this town. Shit. Okay, wait a second. Now. I can kill him, right? With the melee. So it will bump knockback into this, explode. It will also probably do damage to me if I do that. So one damage on sword, then bomb damage from explosion. And I assume the explosion will also push that object away into me. Uh, well, if you care about the fact that two playable characters are kind of, you know, anime style, obviously since it's a. Uh, this is a solo project, a game by the artists of the girls' frontline gacha, so yeah. Outside of that, there's nothing really weep here, by the way. If you're gonna just simply judge by weebness elements. Hmm, I kinda want to do the test for that, yeah, I explode. But, but uh, maybe hack. Hacky, hacky, hacky time. I still don't know what's more valuable here, HP or ice. Or like battery total amount. Now oh, let's hack. That's fine. fine. Keep shooting. Yeah, it seems like it's infinite. Hell yeah. We can test explosions though, right now, I guess. Oh, it did push, yeah. So. Something might be funky there. All right, now we are have uh, how many actually I can hack? Uh, I, I, does it, do I have a limit of one unit, like where I can hack even more? Because uh, the person I've been watching stream uh, early, earlier, like he only tried to hack one thing. Are there weaknesses in those robots? There must be some way. So these are just chilling, yeah. Yeah, it seems like they're not aggressive. Good. I don't need any bullshit. Oh, this thing got four ish, man. Give me battery. But yeah, you see, we're going uh, this way now, and if we have a backtrack, it's gonna cost us more. Another NPC. Ah, this one I can ignore. What if I can, even if it's like aggressive type, can I just prepare for him? I don't know. I bundle. What's the keep motivation for action? Do you think the keep has intelligence? Even assuming the keep has intelligence, we can be sure until some sort of communication. Uh, assuming the keep. Wait. I think it skipped like one line by itself. Surviving is the number one priority for living things. There are plenty of energy sources needed to survive. It's possible the cube is a space virus. It seems the surroundings multiplies constantly. This time the target was just this facility. We can't get out of here either. It'd be nice to escape from here. So I assume this is like a um, mini. Uh, lore pieces. Alright, so dead end, yeah. Rip. Another NPC. Hmm, well, this room is a little shorter. I guess it doesn't really mean much. Dude, was this one that's shorter as well? No, well, it could be like a puzzle room or something. 
I've been personally studying a cube for a long time. Cube is supposed to be so-called silicon life. Silicon compounds have a very high strength compared to the carbon compounds that make up humans. I never touched them, but the cube probably has a very hard surface. <laughs> Don't know where they come from. However, if they have a parent planet, the way they would look on the planet would probably be different from now. The reason why the cube looks like a regular hex, hexadetron uh, right now is because this place is very cold for them. They must have been crystallized. According to the theory of life of the cube, that the room temperature would be a million of years. However, the bonds between constituents for crystallized solids are too strong. In such state basic metabolic processes wouldn't be able to occur anymore. I really keep I saw is like crystals moving, almost like it was still alive. Impressive thing. If you catch a key, please give me one sample. I can miss this historical discoveries right before my eyes. Alright. Yeah, this looks like a puzzle room. Hey, we got loot though. So I assume the more cartridges and types of weapons we have, it's like better because more loot could spawn, maybe. Two? Come on. There we go. You could try to destroy a box with a robot laser. Nah, nah, there's no difference between that. It's just you need to do damage. It's like into the bridge, just HP matters. Another small room? Oh, there we go. Oh, this robot. Yeah. This is why I said, I don't know if you can hack multiple things. I assume that, well, like, you see that there's four tiles that the door have, so maybe you can. All right, how to kill the bomb? I don't have damage right now on anything. Mm. So if I toss a bomb, it will do one damage, yeah. So when it begins the battle, you kind of cannot like predict which. For instance, it would be probably better if this character was here, the Dio, so I can toss uh, the grenade and like bump into the explosion. But if I shoot, I also block the passage. Yeah, so that's kind of sucks. Well, we know that this guy cannot do diagonal shit. I guess that's fine. I kind of want to try uh, hacking that robot as well, but this robot might get out of the Maybe it says it in the description here. Hacking will be possible if required hacking level exceeds level of hacking module used. Fair enough. Well, first level should be first. I don't have to see the bomb action. It still sucks though, because if I shoot. Damn, this, this bomb is thick. I cannot deal with this. Because the blocks here and the textures, that's... This does also one damage, you know? Yeah, I will shoot it and block the passage. What, what I'm gonna do? I have to take damage. Oh, nice, I blocked the passage here now as well. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> this is why you need these uh, like abilities that move objects as well. Like because I could have got here cover or like wait. So well, I guess I have to take damage here. Cannot do anything. Ah, wait. This should have three range only. Oh man. Bruh. Well, nothing can do, yeah. Yeah, this is scuffed. Oh, misplay, that box exploded. Right. And also because I was in the edge of the map I took extra damage. Right. More misplays. Fantastic. Maybe I should have hacked it actually, yeah. Too late now. Can't even kill that robot actually. So you don't have any uh, fighting ability right now. <laughs> yeah, I think I should have just hacked it. Oh, you can only hack one thing, yeah, confirmed. 
Well, at least that's how we can deal with it. Mm, here's the thing, I could try to save core upgrades maybe for like the, the healing module upgrades so we can get more Valor instead of uh, trying to use them now. I can also use it on a robot myself, yeah, I think that's that's another thing I could do. There's a fist. Does it move? One damage, one range, nothing. Just tank. Darmor. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll heal it like later. Anyway, no loot, yeah. Tight rooms kinda could be bad, yeah. Depends like I need to pay attention, uh, how does the, that, it seems like it depends on their original position, yeah, because the robot was on this lane. But if I, well, I, I moved to the neighbor room, yeah, but if I move, like, to this room, how the, the game will toss them? Good question, I guess. Face the box, come on. Yeah, I need to, uh, also early game upgrades that for damage is really important apparently because they all want damage just sucks. Right now, um, need to find upgrade room. Yeah, the, by the way, um, call a doctor. There's no doctors. I am the robot. The Naya is a doctor. Well, maybe there's some event with NPC that could give me a free heal, but uh, I don't think so. I can't scroll with the cursor here. Alright. Let's go here. Yeah, so I don't know why exactly they moved in like in this order in the room. I, maybe there's a way to manipulate that. Oh, it's a 3D printer. Oh, the, there we go. We found there were some things I needed. Let's make them here. We can disassemble items we don't need and make them into batteries. But you will need battery to make an item, so be careful. If we run out of those, now we'll be unable to move. Let's leave some batteries for battle, okay? We found upgrade room where you can upgrade uh, characters or items by using cores made with 3D printer. Stat upgrades as well. The upgrade panel allows you to control detailed capabilities of characters or items. I believe most of upgrades cost two cores. You can also upgrade these hackable robots, I'm pretty sure, but it's obviously wasted. Unless you really don't. Oh, there we go. I think you get one free module that costs zero, which is interesting because I think you can sell it as well for something. Craft grenades, I already have that, yeah. Yeah, you. You get this one for free, which you can disassemble for three uh, batteries, apparently. <laughs> anyway, what is that thing for now, yeah? I assume. We can... Uh, what is the button for inventory tab? So, uh, pull module with the range 3. Knockback distance pulls objects from far away. The target being pulled does not take damage, unless it slams it to something else. Yay! Well, that's what I needed to earlier there uh, in the room. <laughs> yeah, that key is gonna take a slot, isn't it? Okay, what else we have? Grenade. I don't need to craft that. It's, uh, it's not like the number of them, when, or maybe it is also a number of them. Core for three, huh? I don't have too much right now, though. I assume I cannot sell that. <laughs> Imagine the disassembling items wreck and dropped here will be disassembled means to construct a battery. By the way, uh, grenades cost two battery, or is it? I still need to figure that out. Like four battery? Is it four amount or entire thing? Because if it's for like. It's kind of feels bad if you just sell it the whole stack. Two, right? Ah, there we go. So it actually is uh, each. All right. Yeah. 
I mean, damage. Upgrading damage on them would be nice. Okay, let's see how. The, oh, load. You can load through here or something. Setting. Interesting, you can access these menus here. Uh, so, how to access the upgrades itself? I have to probably click on. Ah, wait, there's E uh, shortcut, yeah, upgrade for E. Let's choose an item from inventory and upgrade. Action points cannot upgrade that. And hacking level here. Oh, damage. Ah, you can only, so you cannot just upgrade anything uh, you want. There's limitations apparently. So three for damage. Three for damage range. Three for and two for range. Yeah, how, how do you knock, knock back distance upgrade? In, in this game already, rooms are kind of like small, so, uh, you know, um, let's see, upgrading cartridges doesn't make sense either. Range, knockback, oh, there's the knockback distance, hell yeah. <laughs> More stats. Well, one point of defense seems uh, nice as well, yeah, not gonna lie, movement. Higher movement obviously fixes a lot of Papega stuff. Okay, so we can upgrade range or heal amount there, yeah. But it's cost 3. I think it maybe costs more because I selected the harder difficulty, by the way. I'm not sure, but I guess I'm never gonna be playing that other default difficulty. <laughs> so I don't know, yeah. Yeah, it feels like I need to sacrifice something and just, uh... Then again, this cartridge is cheaper. So if you sell all of them, they will just never spawn again? Hmm. Isn't it it's better, like, to, to sell the other type of weapons and then, um... Let's say, remove one grenade so the grenades will all still spawn. Like, I, I just assume that, because otherwise how the game will... Well, maybe it, no, it doesn't work like that, maybe it can spawn anything. I just start playing. HP crafts... Nanobot for one. Okay, so, uh, two batteries for that, damn. A laser, laser, laser. Well, let's try to do the strategy that I just said, I guess. I'm gonna sell all of these and see if they will spawn. And then uh, sell three grenades. Because also, the space lot is limited, yeah. Wait, you can destroy Spark if you do that, that's... GG, <laughs> like how we gonna do damage then? Alright. That's the most important thing to upgrade damage, probably, yeah. And this thing. Shields. So I don't get into some problematic things, yeah. Wait, what? It's only... Wait, what? I'm doing... Ah, I didn't confirm, apparently. Yeah. It's like, how could I upgrade another one? Alright, uh... And that's all, yeah. You can probably be very greedy with batteries and see what's... Happen. All right, let's heal. So yeah, I used two for the two. So I can upgrade it for two for three. Very expensive, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna get hit. 
I wonder if we can find cores or just the only way to craft them is through this room. Oh, there we go. I assume that is a uh, exit. The yellow border. What's this shit? Oh, loot. I'll take some loot. Hell yeah. More batteries, more potentially spending them for upgrades. Okay, so we did get those bullets. Yeah. So, yeah, there will always be a, a thing in my inventory. Hmm, alright. Damn, full HP here. Okay, so this robot will shoot through any of those tiles. And this robot can... Fist. I don't think this is like yeah, there's no way I cannot take a, like, some kind of damage. There's no way. Also armory I won. Mm. Alright, I I can do some of that magnetism. Oh yeah, I can pull myself. Bait AI maybe attack this guy. I don't know. Who goes first, AI or uh, friendly units? Yeah, but if I've upgraded the magnet power, then it would be harder to not do damage to myself. Ah, wait, I just misplayed uh, this robot will attack me for free. I'm doing this. Well, then PC will win the fight. I can just leave him there, really. Okay, so with the pull damage, that should be one shot here. Ah, I didn't. There was back, uh, not back on the one. Yeah, come on, solve that. Physically cannot do anything. Maybe they can't toss this grenade. Not even grenades will help. Yeah, too bad. Sorry. Lose the HP, my man. Right. We see a crew HP equals to the battery number. So, ideally, you want to. Oh, by the way, what if I kill him, like, after the winning? <laughs> the game has, um, it remembers how many think, dudes I saved or not. This game honestly reminds me of, uh, like, these, um, like, how it was called back in the, before the Steam. Like, these, uh, Heats indies uh, that is like a premium wear or something, yeah. The ones that um, it was hard to get a uh, copy, like it's not from CDs or anything being sold, but you needed to um, kind of pay for the copy and, and activate it through the code, thing like that. It was 2000s era. I remember when I was uh, younger and was playing a bunch of those type of games. Like a puzzlers or some of these uh, platformers. Alright, cool. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth exploring or anything. Depends, I suppose. Oh boy. I need to pay attention to the how units are being spawned. It seems like it depends on um, 
where they were actually last standing, but I, mean, I have to get more information on that. All right, what is the mess here? Well, I can probably just tank this, yeah. The grenade will be nice, but I mean... It will not be lethal by any means. Time to tank. Yeah, kind of rough, there's no enough space in my other units to see, so. Ah, yeah, you can just attack objects and get more space. Sure, that works. Okay, we killed that for free at least. Alright, let's see what the AI will try to rest to attack. I mean, e they have equal amount of armor and it doesn't matter. Of course he's gonna attack my main character. Imagine if I had one damage right now on this room, that would be a little bit uh, rough. Alright, we clearly need some more upgrades or heals here. I have to get strong. Or upgrade healing ability and then spend those. I mean, upgrading healing seems like a good investment. I think I need a three though. Yeah, I'm repairing three, so I'm spending like. Technically, I'm spending nine batteries uh, for that. Is that actually worth it? I mean, I still have to produce these nanobots, right? So, two for two, right? Or even two for one. Oh, it's two for one, Jesus Christ. Mm, yeah. Taking damage is bad. <laughs> I assume the prices are uh, more expensive because of this difficulty. I think. Alright then. Well, still, it's early in the game. I, it's gonna be a win win investment. Let's also have armor here. Might as well tank. Thanks for pointing me out for the, this interesting panel. No problem. No problem. Me some music interested a lot. I was even on a stream. So, I don't know what kind of games are like Into the Bridge. I always went. I don't know. So, yeah, I am a little scared. I mean, how much I can spend? I could go full greed mode, like, I guess I, maybe around 10 batteries is good for exploration. Alright. Instead of buying these uh, ranged projectiles, uh, like, either you upgrade them as well or don't, don't use them at all, alright? Grenades all one copy. I'm just thinking, like, the valley here. Obviously. Okay, the sword... Ah, wait, I... Ah, wait, it doesn't even display... So, everything might have an upgrade option, I just I don't have enough cores to even see how many I need. You see, I have zero now, it doesn't say how many I need. Yeah, well... <laughs> Yeah, the Invisible Ink is also... The, the couple reviews mention that game. It's kind of fair to do that because this game have all this thing that you cannot just complete everything perfectly. So you have to make a decisions 
which uh, rooms to ignore, just go to the next floor. Like Invisible Ink, you have the timer essentially, unless you're like playing on easy difficulty and have godlike setup where you can just shit on every alert level and just stall. In that game, you also need to do things quickly and manage your limited resources. So I agree with that. And Invisible Ink is such an amazing title, I could literally play it like on any day in my life and still, still because it's cool. Yeah. Hey, sixes. Um. Um. Ну так понятно, что не полировано. Это у игры маленький бюджет, соло проект от разраба, который по сути артист, в смысле художник для гача игры. Понятно, что это будет такой вот левел. Окей, um, три апгрейд. What I need? Nice kind of a peg, honestly, without getting the physical attack module, which I don't know when I will get. Maximum life is a thing. Movement points, maybe the waste. That being said, depends on your playstyle of the movement points if you have like range builds. Wonder if you can actually upgrade that. Oh no, it does say how many points I need, so. What is it? Doesn't say here. Wait, maybe you cannot upgrade it at all? Wait, wait, check this out. Maybe you can only do it once? Per, like, maybe the level is the limiting factor? Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Everything is saying how much I need to upgrade, but I cannot do it here. So is that a limit? Like, there is no more possible upgrades? Oh, this one have. Hmm, cool. I assume if I get some high quality robot for capture, I can start investing. Investing into this robot is cheaper, by the way. Well, maybe other robots with the better abilities may be worth it. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. What else? Uh, well, we can craft. Uh, Mates, yeah. heals. Alright, so let's see what I can do with two points here. Movement points for... Just need to find new tools to play with and st yeah. I might find better weapons. So, I don't know. Maximum life maybe is fine. Since apparently she's gonna be tanking shit right now anyway. Alright. Maybe, maybe there's different prices in some of those places. Okay, uh, let's leave it at 10. So what do we have on a map? This is probably a waste, yeah, you see, there might be like one or two rooms, but it's a waste of batteries. Nah, there we go, it says elevator card used. Ah, so you can go here and uh, get rid of the slot in your inventory. I wonder what will happen if I have full inventory and the game drops the key. I don't think you can drop items here, so... Armor? Uh, because armor is kinda not armor. <laughs> If you like, it, it still will be one damage. You cannot have immunity, unfortunately. So, I mean, the game is not. Uh, this is floor three. Yeah, gonna be. Uh, so any enemy that does two damage is gonna be always one. It, uh, so two armor only makes sense to do when I I will start experiencing three damage enemies. Well, I assume I can get three damage by like really bad pushes if I get pushed into wall, explosion, and then I get 3 damage. So I don't need to, uh, more armor right now. I, th I don't exactly remember into the bridge. W could you able to get damage immunity there? To the point that... I think, yeah, uh, that was... Well, in into the bridge the mechanics are a little deeper than here, but still. Alright, floor 3. My best progress. Um, 
My progress. Ah, you see the red uh, because I'm playing on diff. Why would you want to return to the previous floors if, if you're playing on normal difficulty here? This is such a waste of batteries, man. Oh, nice. We found the uh, shit. <laughs> I guess it's fine because we get a freebie there, but uh, that means we have to return back. Never mind. No more freebie. It costs six. What is that? Block module creates one woman sized blocks at the target location. Oh, that's a. Uh cool thing, I guess for now. Yeah, that could be cool. Of course you can replace like hacking, healing if you don't need to heal, uh, by the way. But yeah, I don't have batteries right now for that. Oh, there's only one way here. Yeah. That means I will waste Maybe I should uh, buy that module there now. Before... Well, I almost likely still have to go back here. So I just started this floor. Yeah. Oh shit. Bomb, it will explode in my face. Yeah. God bless this. There's no way I cannot take damage here. In fact, I'll take a lot of damage. Robot does one damage. These are still the same one, yeah? Punch. Uh, I guess I could use grenade. It's kind of safe. But, like, there's no safe because this shit is gonna shoot at either NPC or the robot. At least I solved that problem here. I wonder if computer will shoot at uh, this explosive. Oh, yeah. I have to use grenade. I want to get rid of this. Yeah, a assist the person goes last. Oh, can do that. And that's why I regret putting the Dio here because now I cannot. Well, I guess I could <laughs> technically I could sacrifice my own guy with the push damage after I do the fist. Ah, wait, maybe I can do some pull here. Magic. I oh, know, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I can do the same with pull. Um, it pulls towards me, not... Yeah, I cannot change direction. Bruh. <laughs> Sacrifices. I still don't know which AI prioritizes to attack if I was in his range. I assume I should be out of it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I need to have uh, increased movement speed so I can solve that problem. There's no light foot in the game, aka swapping characters. Yeah, GG, I can't do anything. Oh. Except that in this game, I, I'm playing on the hardcore difficulty, so yeah. And technically, I might even play on Iron Man if I want to. Here. Jokes on you. And this game is kind of easy to lose from what I've seen, yeah. I'm gonna repeat again. So, plenty of battles where you have to. Wait, are you gonna. Oh, I thought he's gonna attack the barrel. <laughs> also, why you moved? These uh, bears are 4 HP, kind of thick. There we go. 
go. Thank you. Oh, please, I can... Who's that? Engineer, ship maintains a drone. It has one positive tentacle and negative communication antenna. Oh, it needs hacking level 2. I cannot hack it, damn it. Penetration 3, 1 damage. So I assume penetration ignores armor, yeah? Shock range can be increased by upgrading. Alright, and he also have some shield here. Which is not displayed as mechanic, but I assume that's gonna absorb any first damage that contacts. Or oh, maybe I can pull the box. Is that pullable? I don't think so. Also, what is that? Full body scanner. What's the purpose it have? Scanner that use high frequency sterilized certain by human body belongings. Doesn't seem like it does anything. Okay, I can pull that guy. Well, nothing we can do really here but just to attack. Yeah, it seems like it absorbs the first hit. And then one damage from the bash. I will leave these guys to fuck the rob uh, the bomb. Let's see if AI is clever. Oh, wait, wait, what? It did LE? Wait, what the fuck? It hurts knife from diagonal? What? I cannot preview how this works. Ah, maybe because I was close by. Faster than 363 nearby objects. God damn it. Misplay! Will I break the box? No. Yeah, we need to be mindful. If one of the characters dies, that's it, game over. You have to reload to the start of the level. Okay, well... No, don't go there, you cannot bypass this. I will not be in time, they're just doing the damage, so let just them handle this... <laughs> this thing action. He's gonna take damage from the explosion. Ah, we... Ah, no, 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 never mind, that was... Uh, that was... Uh, Range robot, not the bomb, excuse me. Okay, cool. Ah, this thing needs to have a loot on it. Okay. Yeah, the music is pretty nice. It's gonna be in different tracks on different floors, by the way. Well, like a sort of starts the pit or any roguelite action. Hell yeah. So yeah, quite a bit of already collected. Maybe I, sh I need to come back for that creation box module. I need to find new modules just to uh, start upgrading the other ones, right? I can upgrade PPP range, maybe something. Heal yourself. That sound effect. I definitely heard this type of sound effect before. Like, it's, it's probably maybe a, a sound effect from some Unity like assets and stuff. I definitely remember that one. Just push forward and tank damage. We need to. Ha oh, there's another. Oh, so there's multiples of those. Freeze module. Place a strong force field on one one's preventing a oh, war. Oh, that's finally something useful. Now I can do in combat. Fuck yeah. And also it might be upgradable. Yeah, I'm buying this shit. In fact, that looks pretty hype. Range. Um, oh, duration. You're just freezing units, <laughs> meaning you can get advantage and come at easily. Very nice. Range as well, yeah, that's something I need to consider. Uh, 
All right. Uh, that, 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 what I want. Um, character slots. Ah, I need to upgrade hacking if I want to big brain uh, better unit. Yeah, I guess it's worth it. How much I need to spend for that? Three shit. Batteries as well. Well, hacking is definitely a big important part in this game because finding with two or three is quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah, you cannot upgrade spark more than damage, apparently. Three for that range here. Four range, by the way, on a cartridge. So not bad, not bad. I can outrange some enemies. This game layout has like five. If you have a range five, six, it's already pretty good. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, uh, let's go and um, buy the, the thing. Upgrade module. I assume there's more hacking, yeah. Oh, it uses. Wait, so now it's permanent. So if I hack level 1 guy, does it use two batteries or still one? That's a scam. Oh shit, it might be actually a scam. But I mean, the game will progress <laughs> for that level, so anyway. Uh, alright, alright. Maybe it does take into account what level I'm ha hacking. Movement points here will be lovely. Range for this shit also seems useful. It's either range or movement or something, but movement is also sometimes tough because it depends on. Uh... Also, it does mean range so that I can just do it from uh, behind. Um, probably. We need to invest in the freeze module, I think. This looks like something I will take advantage of. If we have freeze, the hackable units as well in controller. And yeah, that should be a fun time. Alright, let's go. I, I tr Oh, you can upgrade range more! Damn. Okay. I still have HP, so we shouldn't worry about that. Also, why this door is locked? Or it's, ah, it means I never w went that way. Wait, no. Have... Wait, what did that mean here? I have red here. Ah, it's... Uh, okay, I see now. <laughs> I found an uh, exit without a key. So yeah, look at the... Uh, let, let's assume this actually matters, yeah? So I'm gonna go into this room, right? What if I put uh, Nye, like, here? And uh, Dio here, does it actually matter? Oh, it does. Oh. Hmm, two survivors. Should I trust them? Three actually, wait. Uh, it looks like a scam. Yeah. Their words are strong, too strong. There is no way I'm going to survive at this rate, but if I can upgrade my equipment, I might be able to make it. However, I'm running out of cores right now. If any extra cores, I'll ask you for one. Request. There's a quest here. How disappointing. Oh shit. This is a 
text here. Ah, so it's not like a quest that you can manipulate later, so it will just requested one from me. Too bad I don't have one on myself. Nope. I wonder if I would god if I had a core for them. Oh, found a key card. Yeah, what a shame, I, I don't care, like, what the fuck. I assume I also get less batteries from the loot boxes compared to uh, the normal difficulty. You can just, like, upgrade everything and face roll. Well... Oh, you can go here, okay. The further I go away... Payment I got to. Nice scam. Dead end and no loot. Uh, well, imagine there would be battle but no loot from. I actually I think if there's a battle, it always gives you some loot there. Well, container. Hmm. I have an inventory slot, so I shouldn't like bother with the uh, going in the room just for the heck of it. I guess I could go here. Five batteries. Eh? Yeah, let's do it. I trust. What is this shit? One shot time. Is it worth? I think I need to try to catch some big value hacking. Uh, thing. Oh yeah, time to freeze. Ah, the range only works... Uh, okay, so I, apparently I can go through the body, but it doesn't go diagonal again. Well, we can test it right now, I mean. Ah, no, I cannot. I need the bumps of this. This weapon pushes away, so... I, I mean, that's the play here, obviously. Oh, I hurt my... Wait, what? It pushed... Oh my god, that was a very bad misplay. And I cannot do anything, I'm playing kind of Iron Man once again. I'm not gonna save scum. Shit. I also heard her. Nine, nice. god damn it. Also, General Freedom, welcome back to the 63 years here. See you as always. God, that misplay. I could have just frozen him, but no, like. Also, what happens if I freeze and then, like, move push object? I wonder. Piece of shit. А не, нормально все, музыка четкая, что ты тут? Музыка одна из самых прикольных вещей здесь, на самом деле. Ну это был посос, да, ну что это за мисплей? I don't know, I ask my viewers if the volume of music is high enough. Nobody said anything about it, so I, I don't think the music is also personally. It's obviously louder than sh sh Stone Shard, but uh, you don't take that into fucking account because Stone Shard have problematic low volume of everything. And I hate it actually. Because I, I put on maximum settings there and it's still quiet. Microsoft doesn't get the Discord deal, I don't want another Skype. Yeah, that is a. Well, I mean, if you guys read the article, you would figure out there. They said that they're. They kind of want to go to public, you know, the, with the, instead of being uh, sold out, the Discord wants to go public. I would hate, of course, for some, like, have, but then people actually, like, prefer Microsoft Teams or whatever that cool thing for businesses and, uh... But I could see why the Discord is worth so much, like 10 billion, it's, uh, it's because the a lot of... It's not just communities and stuff, it's literally businesses are working the servers, the promotion, for even video games, yeah, you see the video games are jumping on a trend of putting the Discord servers everywhere. Uh, it's a great tool and it works miracles, I mean, look at the fucking Genshin Impact or any game like that, the Discord server is a huge uh, deal. And even for the smaller businesses, I see people are using the Discord for the, that. 
Are you done with Stone Shard? No, 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 I'm not done at all. This is just a game that popped out, uh, re released, and I want to, you know, do a little, uh, basically, um, basically, uh, well, how to put it? <laughs> I'm gonna be probably one of the few people in the entire world who's gonna make a cover for this game and, like, this for YouTube and Twitch, so uh, just to help uh, this dev see, uh, make a little exposure, essentially. Because, yeah, it, uh, this game has zero marketing and, and everything like that, but... <laughs> yeah, Chronic 1, exactly. A lot of games are, you just follow the streams or the YouTube archives, you will find out that uh, there's plenty of exciting new episodes coming out. Alright, um... I need to capture some new uh, robot. Before I'm gonna complete this game in one try, even though I'm playing Iron Man right now, I kinda. Don't you want to see the cube let loose from this facility? I'm sure it'll be quite a sight. I wanna see what happens so bad like, I can hold it in. It's all over his Oh, he's gonna go there. betray us, isn't it? I'm gonna help the cube escape. Keep, I hope you can come to me quickly. Can I attack these guys, by the way? Without repercussion. Well, it seems I can, but... Well, okay. Duff punk people. Yeah. <laughs> ah, wait. Uh, the, the tile of elevator can have multiple e uh, entrances, apparently. Oh, that's nice to know. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, wait, it's an upgraded one. Advanced Watcher. What's so advanced? Oh, two damage and four range. Dude, I need to hack this guy. It's gonna be like only a couple HP, but I can also upgrade it. Alright. How much movement? They have three by default. They have the bomb. Well, I also have four range, but it will hurt me nonetheless. And four range doesn't really save me from the fist guys, well, yeah. Um, these stupid boxes here. Can I break them? Yeah. With, uh, this module. A little more space for me. There's HP on the table, one. Yeah, that is a concerning thing. Alright, good, we've got a free kill on the bomb. <laughs> it pushed those. Shells. Okay, I was safe. One, two, three. Well, this is a safe tile, but I need to uh, be in. Uh... Well, I can freeze it, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, the fists are going after me. Oh, oh, I could... yeah, yeah, that's clever. Oh, that's clever. Um, well, I could kill it in two turns by taking one damage and defreeze freeze this guy. Otherwise, I can't hide from this shit anymore. I can push that, freeze it, but... Um, it will do damage to me and then I can... Well, I guess I could hack it, yeah. I really want to. Tank one damage hack. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, right. And I have a shield as well. Oh, I'll do one damage. Tanking damage. Your ma. Ah, wait. Shit, I just realized something. This robot still can do something bad. 
He's not dead yet. Ah, whatever. Ah, yeah, I wanted to check whenever. Like, this one is level 1. How many batteries it will cost? Well, I assume this one should be 1 and this one too. Ah, wait, I can move with him, yeah? Okay, so we can kill him then. Epic gamer move. Yeah, another thing I should remember is that you get a free turn on a captured unit. Like, this unit might be worth even, like, getting maximum HP up and stuff like that. This is a rare level 2 unit right now. Alright. The best part about loot boxes is that you can hurt yourself while you're, like, trying to loot them. Uh... Um, I just shoot it from distance. Oh, grenades. Oh, wait a second, that's also a loot box? Oh, yeah, that's another reason why we need these um, infinite shots. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Well, either that or I waste my own uh, cartridge or something. Okay, do I need to heal? Yeah, might as well. You value. So. Wait, what? Oh, come on! It doesn't have a connect. Oh, man. Never mind. <laughs> Damn. Five berries for that. Bram. Well, let's see if I can uh, upgrade this little fella here. Oh, yeah, baby. One D. Wait, he yeah, th these hacks. They, they have, uh, well, cheaper upgrades. Also, he came with one defense. That's pretty cool. Maximum hit points is two. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> well, yeah, it's definitely the most important stat here. But the thing is, I have to heal them later as well, yeah. Um, anything I can sell here? Grenades, yeah. Like, they, they don't have upgrade right now, so I feel good selling this shit. Cartridges as well. I shouldn't feel bad about it, yeah. Um. Shame. Really gonna go that route of um, pumping the, this unit. F2 damage shot. Oh, can I upgrade his uh, shooting ability? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can only upgrade their stats. Mm, but also, I cannot, uh, like, I have 3 HP healing, so I have to be very, very careful about this heal. I feel like I need to upgrade movement of Dio. I just sometimes feel like I cannot get in a good position. That being said, upgrading my range uh, would be nice as well. Cost only one. But then I need damage from this cartridge, which costs three. This is a bra moment here, <laughs> investing. <laughs> six batteries into that then heal which costs four batteries i cannot come no no no. that quest is f like it's not even quest it's just i had no cores in inventory it's cancelled there's no more pop out notification for talking I cannot do that let's get deal movement points sometimes i feel like i need the, that I 
Anything else? Well, not really. By the way, there's always two. You know? What if I buy one Nanobot? So there'll be three. I assume it will be half then. Uh, wait, wait. So for two heal, for two nanobots, I can heal three. Yeah. Ah, I guess she will not even use the healing ability. Yeah, it doesn't work. All right, fair. Yeah, we passed floor three. Epic. Yeah, there we go. Omodus H two. Fuck. Ah, there we go. Robots. These guys got an upgrade now. Dash. Are those for dynamic rush forward plumbing and pushing in? Oh. Not only they got um, push, but also a dash now. Oh, nice music here. Damage. Range 3. Knockback. Knockback damage. Cartridges. Okay, well, I am um, very happy you guys got a free upgrade. <laughs> what else I can say? Fuck you all. It's kind of concerning with that dash. I don't know how AI will use it against this guy or me. Okay, good. This guy is useful. Nice. That's the best outcome. No, don't block! Okay, I was afraid he will block my way. I can just push him with sword. A bomb! Alright, we're gonna lock this little fella. I think that the range 2 means that I can do it from this style, but I cannot have to be exactly in the, in the line. Alright, how to assist this guy? Well, I assume computer will just move on to my range. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and this guy's gonna help. I can lock the. Still not sure about the dash. So, range 3, same as. Um... Is, does it add the range of movement, or it's the within the range of movement? Hmm. Well, if I shoot... And block the way... I need higher range against him. Let's test this dash thing. So he's gonna be here. Can he dash into me there? I don't know. Oh shit, I didn't meant to do that. Oops, I misclicked. Well, I guess we're not gonna find out about that anymore. Oh my god, he... Oh, that he did a combo bombo. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> so, wow, this guy can dash through outside of his movement. That makes him very good unit, actually. Maybe I should have hacked this guy. I mean, he comes out with 4 HP, which means it'd be 3. I did the wrong hack. Maybe. In this game, it's since everybody gets shields and armor now, like, uh, this free push damage and knockback is very nice. Alright, well, we won, but still. Concerning. Should I heal this guy? Probably. I 
Come on, friendly eye. Do the thing. Right. At least we've got batteries this time. Oh, wait. With bait, mate. Yeah, I want to heal with my drone. I want to heal. Even if it's slight waste. I don't mind. Okay, well, the freeze definitely helps, for sure. I'm happy with that. Alright, I'm done. Let's go. Wait, this puzzle room have fucking no way to progress without using Diva Sword. Kick. Very hard puzzle, by the way. <laughs> Well, there's not much you can do with uh, such small rooms anyway. What a scam! One cartridge? Guy, get out of here. Okay, so every time I move to the... Like, what will happen if uh, there's robots? So two units standing in the same lane, how would computer will, like, move to the next room? I guess I assume he, somebody will be pushed to the... Uh, this style. Yeah, it's like random, I guess, 50-50. <laughs> At times like this, we have to f fight together. Alright, good. The Denagrin. I can respect that. That's shiny. Okay, so far one... nice. I, I like it when there's only one passage. Oh! Awesome. Upgrades! Punch module, a fist. Oh! Heck yeah. By the way, can I preview ability without buying it? No, I cannot. <laughs> well, I mean, it's probably nice to have punch. Range of one damage without upgrades. I can upgrade damage on punch, but still, two damage is probably gonna be one because every fucking thing have armor almost. Well, I don't know, I kinda lost a couple batteries on this. Maybe I need it, maybe not. Like, why would we have damage instead of freezing? So when I need to finish off one, oh, with one HP somebody. So what's the plan anyway? What I like I'm lacking range, movement, something else. Just buy HP and tank everything. <laughs> Cause we have an options. Have an options. I don't think I need second defense just yet. I honestly feel like uh, that Dasher guy is a better unit to control. More HP, push. This this guy have two damage shot, but uh, it's one damage most of the time, yeah. And I cannot upgrade his uh, range, unfortunately, yeah. That'd be probably too good. That would be too good. We'll still need armor and knight in case she gets like harassed by plenty of things. Right. Knock back distance. This doesn't make sense without bigger range because it's already three range. It'd be really hard to get used to the knock back distance. This seems like a very good investment but um Quite expensive. Range 3 on this shit. I 
Honestly, I'll just be happy with heals. Alright, let's craft uh, defense for now, just in case. I mean, you very risky not to have it, right? Never know what the encounter is gonna be there. Okay. Three rooms. Oh shit. Pusher tier two. Um so yeah, standing in a corner of the room kind of dangerous because of the push. Well, we're definitely freezing this guy. I played Dortok so much recently, I'm just like triggered that I cannot swap units and then go here for instance. <laughs> have to go around to have a shot. Uh... But yeah, look at that, they all have armor, so honestly this Witcher kind of... Yeah. Still have infinite shots. So. He's got to trade hits, he might actually attack into C as well. Yeah. That takes some damage. Where are you going? Ah. Oh, he doesn't have armor, no! Wow. Don't you dare. Cannot kill this robot. After I take a shot, I cannot move anymore, you yeah. know? Well, I guess I could kill with cartridge, yeah. But the, this NPC will fucking die. Yeah, definitely. Higher movement is nice in this game, for sure. Stupid armor. Alright, you take a hit. This guy frozen. Well, without frozen, I'll be completely fucked here. So realistically, I need to push him into something to kill immediately, otherwise I am not do anything. This needs to die, like it's just getting in my way. Ah, oh, wait a second, if I... Computer can sh... Oh man, I just realized something. Uh, if I shoot it, uh, then eye is exposed. I wonder if computer will take a shot. Yeah, you have to. It's a bra moment here. Ah, wait, if I, I needed to swap position with nice, nah, so that I could take a shot at least. Ah, also, I forgot. The robot could go here, yeah, and just shoot me for free. No safe spot! Oh, where are you going? <laughs> where the fuck you're going? That's interesting. If you want to go here, sure. I guess now I can start doing damage to this guy. Oh, 
Ogres. Oh, okay. Ooh, 11 batteries, damn. Ah, he's dead, right? Nice. She baited. It. it pushes everything, like, I cannot just pierce... The, uh, I, I, maybe there's later in the game something that gives me pierce. But I don't know. Yes! My strategies prevail for now. <laughs> I mean, I still did a fuck ton of mistakes so far. But honestly, I don't know, like... Even at the early game, you, you have fights where you just have to take damage. Or you have to use... Uh, uh, um, you have to use uh, resources to kill. Which I'm also not a fan of unless I'm crafting. Cool. Um, is this a dead end? Probably. Nope. Give me the loot. Nice, so we can get some upgrades maybe. Ah, yeah, it's not too far actually. To heal Dio. Probably need to hack another robot eventually. I most likely will suicide this guy uh, eventually in a couple uh, like dangerous fights. Now I think needs uh, movement as well, so I can micromanage um, stun locking units with the freezing better. Hello, who are you? Medeus, how did I know that? My eye can be fooled. When was the last time you were in the solar system? Is there anything you're hiding about the cube? Is this the cube is actually a weapon from solar system. You're an agent to cover it up. Don't pretend not to know. Absorbing energy from the source's starting point, the cube causes enormous damage. It's suitable to destroy enclosed space infrastructure. Besides, the solar system and all of its entire system are at war. This is all because of the... Oh, type of there. Double H. Amadeus, who occupy the solar system. Cube is undoubtedly a new AI weapon of the solar system. You are the spies. Ah! He's gonna attack me for free? Oh, come on. What a waste. Like, yeah, I, I, I can see why people don't like this. No loot in the room, and uh, you get, like, fucked for free. Wait a second, I just skipped... wait, what? My others didn't move. Oh. She only had a turn? What the fuck? Oh, or maybe only one unit had a turn. What a waste of 2 HP for nothing. We're one closer step to dying with this robot, though. <laughs> Scam. Alright, what do I want? Alright, ah, I have fist as well. I should not forget about that. Maybe I should replace... Yeah, some fisting might be useful, like destroy a cover. Hmm, okay, well... Uh, couple upgrades, maybe? Three for that, nah. Why does sword kind of upgrade feather? They're better sword, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I think I will upgrade movement. Um, 
all right? Yeah, speaking of fisting, I probably want to put it instead of... Well, I don't know when I need the... Well, I can just replace it in combat. This could be useful still. Yeah, I can pull myself. Hmm, look at that. Free loot everywhere. Ah, this was the loot, I see. I kind of like I see the shiny, but I just it's, it's uh, oh eleven nearby box instead. I'm like ah, eh, it's not the one. And we found a grenade apparently. Yeah, I want to see what happens when maybe I can toss. Ah, I can just drop them. Will they be displayed on the map then? Yeah. So if I don't have a space uh, like with a key, it's fine. Ah, there we go. Found elevator. Okay. Mm kind of nasty, nasty. Ah, by the way, if I freeze this shit, I cannot shoot through me anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody have armor. Not fun. Mm, there's no NPCs to assist as well. It's actually kind of cool to shoot and then pull, by the way, with magnetic power I can do that, because if I shoot from here I expose myself for a free hit. Unless I tank. So having like additional polar unit or grabber would help, it's the same as in uh, Into the Breach, of course. And more for yeah, get exactly cat gems. Too bad I don't have it enabled. Or... I don't... like how people enable these emotes. I have only... Unless you pay golden subscription with a better Twitch TV, I, you have only like five slots for animated emus or something. So why I have to pay money for this? It's for Discord privilege, basically, in a way. Whatever. Well, some streamers don't mind, I guess, paying for that. Constantly. Okay, I'm just thinking how to do it without taking damage. Is that even possible? Yeah, units with the push definitely better, because I, I can only do 3 damage max with sword, push and then shot. So this guy will be like, guarantee way of me getting hit. Who's this guy's uses, yeah? Oh now it moves closer. I like how he yeah, just randomly decides to shoot at things if it's something there. Well, I mean, it's clever because now I cannot uh, do the knockback damage. Yeah. Too bad. 
just there's no way to win this fight without taking multiple hits of damage even. It is what it is. And computer have ability to choose whoever the fuck he wants to really here. Kinda nasty room, honestly. Imagine if I had no robot to hack. I should hack this guy, by the way. Yeah, this is like free damage for me. <laughs> to be fair, this guy is not a bad thing to capture, yeah. Can't do two damage. I wonder what computer will still like here. He can attack uh, nine if he wants to. Okay, good. That's probably for the best. That's for the best. Wait, how's that lethal? Ah, no, no, it's just a damage. Shows you the warning that something might get damaged by the physics. Alright, well, there we go. Took unavoidable damage. This guy is definitely good, but you have to kind of um, expect him to take damage, I suppose. The solid cleaner guy. Dynamic rush into things. Uh, he could, like, chain reaction maybe even into explosives. Seems like maybe... Well, the thing is, I can only upgrade his personal stats, not the, the knockback damage thing here, for instance. So that would be pretty nice. So... Cost two batteries. Yeah, I think I will take him. Oh, I don't have a... Shit, I don't have a hacking module right now. And if I replace it, I lose the turn. Well, here comes the um, payment for my mistake, I guess. Nice. Combo Wombo. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, maybe I need to switch to hacking. Because either she's locking a unit or... Limited space. Final replace magnet. Okay, two grenades, aka like four batteries, honestly, unless you invest into grenades. Which I didn't yet. Oh, do I have key? No, I don't. Ooh, we got some surprises. I wonder how the shield mechanic works. Is it always gonna refresh? Oh, I, I, I left shiny crate? Oh yeah, sorry. Damn, I have to... Yeah, thanks, chat. Um, it's okay, I'll fall, fall back anyway, it seems like. I mean, I uh, have to return. Alright, what do we got here? Got NPC, cool. Can you use him as a tank? But I, to be fair, computer kind of does his own thing sometimes, I'm just not sure. This guy apparently can cause electricity to pass through objects. So I don't know what's the save zone for this shit. Like if I... Will computer damage himself with that ability? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Cool. Range abuse. Gotta be better equipment for sure. Trust in the better equipment. Okay, so what's gonna happen right now? It did. Oh my god, this. 
Does it have limit range or something? This is ridiculous. I would play safe against this thing. I assume it does regenerate shield every combat, by the way, so the value of this thing could be potentially huge. Does it have armor, though? But this is something I can upgrade. Alright, let's up here. Can lock this shit. One damage penetration, yeah, guarantee one one. But theoretically, it can do a lot of damage on objects. It just destroys them as well. That shield, though. I normally would want to probably take one damage on average from units, so that could be exactly what I need here. Oh, well, okay then. I'm gonna kill that though. <laughs> oh, fire hack. I just want to experiment with this unit, that's all. Oh, by the way, when I hack, I, I will not do damage to it because of the shield, yeah? Oh shit, I should have first uh, shot this guy, I forgot about that. Fuck my bad. That's a kind of a pega misplay here, actually. Uh, well, okay, I mean, I could still zap. So how does this work? Hopefully it'll preview the zapping damage. Seems like it doesn't work diagonally, at least. Oh, it does? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Holy shit. Interesting enough, it doesn't say the range of this ability. And that's probably should. Penetration 3. Maybe that means how many targets it can chain lightning into. Well, whatever, I have to pay for my mistake now, I guess. Oh, never mind. Ah, it was. No, 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 it was like selecting that or that as a target. It was not uh, directed. Ah. Alright, saved. Yeah, boy. Yes, perfect. Attack the NPC. Alright, easy win. So let's assume I'm. Yeah. So now it does display. Uh, Ah, I can select which targets get zapped. Check the shit out. If I attack here, uh, then I will not get damaged. Okay. This is kind of pog. So let me do another test then. Uh, can I single attack? Without zapping my other units. Yeah, it works. It just works. Hell yeah. Getting some profits here. And I get stronger. Man, I'm actually kinda excited about upgrading this one. <laughs> Unless the next four uh, features like uh, overpowered tier 3 units. How much HP does shit have? was worth <laughs> all right 43 batteries that's a lot I like that we still need the uh, key yeah oh fuck wait was shield is gone it's not restoring Oh, that's a scam. 
my dudes, that's a scam. I thought this whole shield mechanic was useful in that. Well, okay, so it just absorbs the one damage ever then. Bruh. Yeah, I guess we cannot make ultimate robots. They will die one way or another unless we just upgrade the tank guy. And... Also, nice bomb in the middle. Nah. Um, so I assume I can zap all three of them if I select correctly, but that doesn't really profit here. Is that a pusher? Yeah, okay. Well, basically I need to push the bomb, and then we'll uh, just freeze one of them. Ah, never mind, I can only reach that one now. It's kinda probably the worst now. Ah, wait, I can zap like, these things, yeah? Yeah, but if I do that, then I still. One, two, three, four. Well, I guess that's how we're gonna play. Yeah, I see, so that's what Penetration 3 means. Basically. I think uh, controlling this unit is more important because his uh, dash potential is annoying. Yeah, I will get hit here, but... I'm already disappointed a little bit in this robot. <laughs> so don't mind me here. Basically, yeah, I all, I have to consider all of them as uh, sacrificial tokens, for now at least. No pet for me. Alright, cool. Nothing here, yeah? I don't see any shiny. I had to go this way. Wait, I thought that was here already. Oh, they... They still do some talking, which is interesting. Hell yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, I could still upgrade his maximum HP, heal him, I guess, and still like he's but the guy who doesn't have armor kind of worries me. Okay. I would not be too opposed to find new modules and see if they're better than mine. There's probably another uh, printer in this level. I could imagine. Alright, let's see. Um, two for that, one for defense. <laughs> uh, fist, uh, let's review what we can upgrade again here. Damage, piece and the damage from this. Right? Honestly, this is worth it, but it costs for, I guess. If I can outrange enemies with three movement, that's a free damage. But I don't get always the like line of sight and all that. That's probably gonna be rare. Freeze uh, is useful, yeah. Three range. It's probably overkill right now. Hmm. This cannot be upgraded. Pool, yeah. Maybe I should sell pool, by the way. Uh, 
This is kind of common shit to get in the game, so I'm assuming that is worth upgrading one with another. Grenades are really expensive to upgrade, plus they're usable only. Knock back. Well, with a grenade I can do like two... Da so upgrading damage is kind of weird because the enemies will have shields of resistance, yeah? So I need to have at least three damage on it, because otherwise it's gonna be one damage from normal and then one from pull. So the grenade already does like good enough damage. Uh, if I need it. The range is probably better here. Of course, sell every grenade. Yeah. That's the only good thing about them. The module. Yeah, let's go get rid of it. There might be probably better ones. Great time. Heels. Yeah, time for cartridge pump. Oh my god, cartridge can be upgraded, more damage. And more range. Oh, okay. Six range would be insane good. Yeah, this is worth it. Easy. Even more range? No, that's overkill, I mean. What's the maximum of fucking range in a game to begin with right now? One... Well, I assume I'm in a corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is literally the maximum. I Hopefully the game doesn't have more than that. <laughs> seven range, baby. Yeah, that's enough. Damage is definitely nice. Okay, what I'm lacking, I might need more defense soon. These are kind of like whatever, I can skip those upgrades. Engineer. I really want to say he is good, but... something else. Hacking level 3. I will upgrade it if I, I, I first need to see level 3 units myself if I want to hack them, you know. Fist and great freeze module. I'm running kind of thing like there's not well I mean I can always upgrade HP and uh, shit like that but I would say we need something more important more emergency related I'll go get another point of defense since I feel like there's gonna be soon three damage enemies um got HP Just spend extra batteries for hacks for now. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. And if there's NPC who requests core, might as well have it. I want to see what will happen. I need to find new tools. All right. If they're any better, of course. So. Um, I guess I'm exploring the whole floor. Oh shit. <sighs> Wrong position of units, maybe <laughs> already. Okay, bomb. Pusher. Ah, it's fine. I'm just gonna freeze lock the garbage yeah. Definitely take one hit here and I mean it's fine. Ah, if computer can do the big brain explosion move here. 
Пат Велхи. Find out. And nope. Okay, good. Well, I mean, it will just push uh, Naya a little bit. Oh, wait a second. I'm gonna deal with this now. Fuck. Can I kill this? Freeze. Yeah. Just gotta be a way to kill them without taking more damage, right? Hmm. Freeze. Well, yeah, if I move out, yeah. Yeah, that's not a problem. Not a problem. Luckily, in this game, you can, uh, you know, move and sh like you can move at different times uh, with the, each character. You don't have to like spend an entire movement of one. The robot is still doing some damage. Good, good, good. Don't you dare to blow up yourself here, friendly AI. Not so friendly anymore. Back this guy, so I'm not stunned like him anymore. Can I? Oh, wait, he, he can. F wait, what? Engineer can fly over objects? How oh, I was supposed to know about that? Ah, yeah, I cannot attack through this. There needs to be something here. Alright. Friendly AI, help me out. You're the only one who have access. Yes. I'm not gonna be surprised if this is actually like swap ability. Because yeah, in short small rooms like that uh, it gets crowded. Alright, good. Engineer Q jump. Yeah, yeah, wait. Can I just be on top of that thing? Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. I need to pay attention to that when I'm fighting against them. Yeah, look at that. I assume the everything is. Can they move through their my own units? Oh, okay, that's interesting. So he he have built in. Uh, Ability with not giving a shit about any obstacles. <laughs> well, yeah. To be fair, yeah, upgrading this robot does sound decent. Like, plus one HP, full heal, even maybe armor pump. His, his point, like, he obviously will not do more than one damage ever, but piercing, cool, yeah. The only thing that bothers me is that I feel like in this game it is still better to have like the, the push units advantage so I can do multiple hits of damage. Because uh, I'm gonna deal with like 5 plus HP units later in the game. I think it's gonna be the hardest tier. It's like I cannot one shot them. It's impossible. But yeah, that's a cool little thing for sure. Oh, there's more. Chief bait. Okay, nice, we got the key. No materials though. Ah, look at that, there's another room. But do I wanna go there? Do I wanna go there? Yes, I do. Oh shit, rocket launcher. Grenade turret. Epic. Four range grenades. Wow. Uh, nice. So, safe. 
computer, by the way, if I'm standing here, I think computer can still launch a grenade and it will push me, yeah? Doesn't have knockback damage though, okay, so maybe it's, it is a safe tile. Otherwise, the only safe tile is like a corner of the entire map. Well, I assume I can just... can I sh freeze the turret? Well, I'm stuck here and cannot move here without destroying the box. I assume I can. I gotta take damage from something here. Yeah. Something will happen. Alright, let's test uh, freeze on this shit. Okay. Ah, by the way, if I kill this fucking thing, it will explode in my face. And also not... it will hurt me twice. Oh boy. I wonder if computer will detonate like this so that I, I will do damage to the drone. I, I mean, turret. There's no win-win here, yeah. I guess I could push this block like that. But it's useless because the, they will detonate. Yeah. But yeah, that was a very good AI. But peg him by me, honestly. But uh, I also lost my unit for free as well. Kinda sucks, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Time to heal up. So we're still Iron Man, yeah? We haven't lost that, I mean. I'm pretty proud of that. Because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I've seen people dying, even in earlier um, stages. Okay, how to equip this uh, tab. Still, maybe I should have invested into an even stronger heal. Definitely doesn't sound okay idea. This is not the... I mean, in games like... Into the Bridge... I don't remember how the healing was executed there. I think the next next mission you take you get full HP back, yeah? So, that's cool. As long as you have 1 HP, everything was fine, but uh, this is like a roguelite kind of exploration here, so you don't get full HP. Okay, need to probably buy a couple more heals. Three for that, yeah. We need to capture some new sucker. <laughs> Turn it. Maybe I need to upgrade it. What is my high priority? More HP, more movement. I'm confident really with my abilities. I got the cartridge shit, still not abusing it. I guess I have to invest into healing. Shit, why heal then then? <laughs> Pepega. Tornus, please. Bruh. 
Yeah, I lost like 2 HP for nothing then. Oh, this is final upgrade in the game for healing, okay. And let's go explore more. New email sound, which one? And where? Oh, nice, we can hack uh, here. Uh, Dasher, Dasher guy. Gmail or what? I never have any email sounds ever. I say meaning about this game somehow. Yeah. We hack arena. Yeah, this guy doesn't just the key. <laughs> he can do the bash. Ah, damn. The robot is also there. Ah, wait, I can just kill it with range, yeah. Doesn't have armor. Haha! What a waste. Oh! Probably, like, should I tank with my robot or let the NPC tank it? So, with the, my maximum HP upgrade, so two batteries equal two of those, so one battery equal one HP. But I need two robots for four HP. It's pretty good value, healing. Like, I can do that, boo the bash, but then I'll probably take damage and slow it cleaner. Instead of NPC. So I assume computer will try to knock me somehow in a bad way. Let's actually see what he's gonna choose here. I want to see that. Maybe he'll to push the box. Nah. It's okay, fuck you then. <laughs> I try to prevent that from happening, but... Yeah. Well, it's a free kill because uh, freeze, of course, but still. Ten batteries, damn. Lucky. I should come best. Come on, robot. Do the thing. Yeah. Oh, five extra from crew as well. Yes. I wonder if there's a cap on these things, probably not. Oh, one. Well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Yeah, it's, it's close to the exit, so we're gonna explore that one, I think. The big brain idea would be to level up HP on this robot and heal it only when it's 1 HP left for maximum value. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Seems like when I enter the new rooms it'll be beneficial for like Archer to be in the center. Well, Archer. Arranged. Oh, hello. We got annoying robot here to deal with. Oh yeah, having extra movement definitely helps. Like, look, I can hide in the behind cover from the ranged guy. Freeze this, just to make sure we're not gonna make any mistakes. And this guy cannot do anything, yeah? Hell yeah. Yes, your shield does not save you. <laughs> Is that profitable? Yeah. 
It is. You see, uh, now I can bash on things for free. This guy have more potential as a support unit. Oh, shield is... Ah, it's gone because I... Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe freeze it removed it. He got damaged already. So, uh, I assume... Well, I don't know what I assume. I just... I'm happy that he's dead. <laughs> wow, this might be the first battle I'll get without any damage. Even though there's three enemies. Ah, wait a second to kill it. I need to... Uh, do the double bump. Good enough for me, I mean. Just like in Into the Bridge, very limited b battlefield of space. Of, like every minus unit is so. Actually, now that I think about it, every, Into the Bridge was pretty cancerous sometimes. It, wasn't there these maps where enemies' reinforcement arrives, spawns? There's like some buildings that spawns even more enemies. I need to play maybe that again as well. Like, there's some maps that are like brutal. They tested my full potential. Um, okay, so how are we dealing with this guy? Um, I need to start doing some damage. Server 5 HP. I guess I'll push it. This is the turn I could have abused the range, but not really. Yeah. Get rid of this shit here. Well, still need to handle this little fella. Okay, two damage. This is a free hit right now. The power of cabinet. Alright, we're gonna kill this shit and then uh, stomach this one. Seems pretty good for me. Easy. I guess this box can help. Alright, good. I'm very satisfied with this outcome. Oh shit, I just attacked- <laughs> Are you kidding me? I misclicked that badly? Oh wow. Alright, well... I guess Naya needs some uh, punishment. <laughs> okay. Damn. Rip playing Iron Man. Cannot do anything about- Ah yeah, this was the same problem in Into the Bridge. It was very hard- There was like limited amount of- Undoes you can do, yeah, in the game. So, uh, or in some game modes, I believe there was even no, uh, no uh, returns. I don't exactly remember that. Need to launch. It's been forever since the release. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. It took that damage. Didn't it? Look at this, we destroyed half of the room and there's still more shinies here. Shiny! Oh wow, nice, one batteries. Okay, that's better. So, still more? Damn! Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, it's still worth it. Like, if there's loot there, that's still worth it, I think. No, this is this piece of shit. 
There's no loot here. Jibbait. Keep is really nuisance because of this humanity is no longer able to advance in Alpha Centaur system. In first place, mankind didn't come here. In first place, mankind didn't come here. Ah, yeah, that's probably not correct way to use English here. But whatever, I mean. Yeah, why not do. But the top difficulty, I don't remember Chthonic one. I, there was definitely a difference in uh, terms of how many undoes you can do. It's here because those awesome homodoos drew humanity out of the solar system. In the, wor in the world, humanity is an axiom. The Centauri system is not suitable for a human civilization to flourish. Three stars in the system resources are abundant, but there are not too much time for people to leave them. Only human inhabitants planet have a perceiving system with this habitable area. Uh, like, this is very sensitive. If I, if I click uh, left mouse button when uh, it's still in progress. You know, generally in games, if you click once more, it just like accelerates the text and displays it uh, completely. Here I get trolled with this I, because it, it orders, like, it cues a skip the moment that uh, the text is gonna be 100%. Anyway, just uh, just like the these minor rookie developing things. I'm honestly surprised how this game actually operates pretty uh, well without any like glitches and bugs. One man projects. Uh, just a reminder here. People are made to live on a soil, not in the universe. And personally, I don't like the sun rising three times a day. Yeah, don't break Elon Musk dreams here, alright? Okay, well... Um, do we need to go to emergency room? I mean, uh, upgrade room? Nah, let's do it to the next level instead. Okay, I'm good. have a bunch of batteries and I... I don't know, I'm rocking. I'm rocking... So it says love floor six is the place where we can find that um, solution. But then, is that floor six the real, the final one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Indeed. Hello, floor five penguin-looking thing. ZZ or double twenty-two. Okay. That was a surprise, I thought it was a security robot. But I met you just in time. I ran away early, but I forgot to take my spaceship's data pack. I don't have the ability to fight. It'd be possible to go back and get it now. I will surely die. Please find my data pack. Without it, I can start my something. I skipped it. Toilet? Where do you see toilet? If you find it, I'll reward you. I'll show you where to find it on your map. Alright, seems like a first quest here. Actually matters. Ah, there it is. Well, I don't know exactly what there was a thing database. Seem like this penguin f spawned in floor one always. Oh shit! What is that? Any type of enemy? What is it? Four movement, three HP, two defense, three hacking level, gamma ray cartridge. Now, wasn't that a thing I could have started the game with? There emits high energy gamma rays that will penetrate everything I pack. However, that there seems to be some exceptions which can be penetrated. Two damage, four range. Wait, this looks like a busted thing in this game. I mean, if it penetrates, really. Oh god, my my unit that can stun lock this thing is out of reach because it spawned there. Kind of my fault, I guess. All right, all right, pretty serious here, pretty serious. One of these guys. I mean, I'm not sure again if we're worth capturing. You lose one HP on capture. Well, this looks fun, man. Though, keep in mind, this is gonna be one damage still, and it doesn't have a push, so <laughs> this arm mechanic really fucks everything up in a way. Can it fly? I, I assume this thing can also fly. Yeah, look at that. It displays the move here. 
See, there's no safe spot from this, almost. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a flying thing. Alright, well, I guess I need to start damaging it. One with another. Ah. God damn it, friendly NPCs blocking my shots. Just, just like in Into the Bridge, everything will just block. Well, I have to stay away from uh, all this uh, multi hits like this, yeah. I think he will dash into the friendly. Yeah. Hey, Vector, what's up? I might need to start fucking this unit though. Where's the range of uh, Gamma 4? Okay. If I stay like in this line. 1, 2, 3, 4. Damn. Wait, actually, there's a problem. <laughs> if computer goes here. It might like attack everything in the line. Damn. Well, he will explode into itself. I'm not sure if computer is capable of, but he'll do so much damage to me. Let's see what will he decide to do. I guess. Kind of scary. Anyway, oh, he did the valor. Man. He still did a huge valor. But, uh... I guess computer doesn't want to hurt... Delola, why you shot this guy? You could have killed a really dangerous unit instead. Ugh. At least it's in a corner right now. Okay. Mm Should I hack one of those again? Two batteries for heck. Seems like okay, I guess. I need some kind of like if I lose my own uh, unit, I feel like I need to replace it immediately because having this um, not cool. Hopefully, in this floor, we're gonna find some new equipment. All right. Yeah, he's gonna fucking piss me. Fair enough, fair enough. Can I kill this thing? I have a cartridge, I guess. Not enough range. This thing has four range. Three movement. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, cartridge shit is. Alright, well, that was a little rough here. Give me loot. That's it. I don't see any more shiny. Yeah, no shiny. So, objective. Oh, we have to go back to this. Penguin, yeah, I guarantee. He's gone though, seems like. What is this? I'm scared eating random tomatoes. Seems like hydroponic cultivation room. After staring at scrap metal and concrete for ages, this is wonderful. I feel like my mind has been purified. There's some coffee cherries. Should I take some coffee cherries? But it's not good to touch other people's things. But it seems like they left without it. But it's not a waste. Coffee cherries are precious. Maybe this is some kind of like yeah, Korean or like English translation mistake again here. By the way, why are there coffee cherries here? I mean, uh, the structure of some sentences doesn't sound like. Eng English uh, 
to sometimes, but it's not a big problem, of course. Uh, only a hum no, no, no. The shares are fine. I like the if you pay attention to what I'm reading or read it yourself. Like some some sentences just structured in a weird way. Only Hamadis would eat coffee cherry raw. Is it not grown here? All the things here are vegetables or plants for air purification. We are usually roast them and prepare like a tea, not eat it raw. This is suspicious. All right, so nothing happened here. Good. Oh, nice. We found an upgrade table. What do we got here? Shield module deploys a shield to nullify one attack for a single turn. Huh? Damn, I kind of want to test this. Deploys a shield to nullify attack for a single turn. That means I can tank with the uh, Dio. But generally she's busy, like, freezing shit, so... It dep yeah, if you get this early game, I guess this is very nice. That shield had a... no, 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 uh, the, he only had the um, default attack. You cannot upgrade the robot's default attacks. So, what am I missing right now? I don't need any heal. I mean, what's the... I guess the shield up could be upgraded into, like, range. That's it. I cannot imagine it having, like, extra shield charge. What can I upgrade? I think cartridges can be upgraded still. Yeah, the ra though seven range is an overkill. Get a shield module. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, this the ability is locked to character. You see this icon here. Dio can use only abilities without the icon like this. Uh, this the c uh, cursor aim thing. So it's obviously for a robot. Now. That's why I said, uh, what is this game? Cold Tetra Cube is my title and everything. It's uh, basically like a solar project uh, and game without any budget for uh, marketing or anything. It's self-published, uh, a game by the um, artists, uh, famous artists uh, who does uh, gacha-related uh, art for the game called uh, Girls Frontline. So yeah, this is basically like game, cozy game of two th early two thousands. Uh, you know these free freemium uh, games uh, that is not on CD. If you remember that era, like on Windows XP uh, uh, games that you needed to buy like through the activation codes. This is what it reminds me. To be fair, this game are all, all, would work on mobile devices as well, but probably expensive to port and all that. Yeah, I don't know if I should buy this. Not enough slot as well, and... Um... Well, level... Th ah, level 3 hack. We might actually get value from that shit. Yeah, I think level 3 hack is big brain. Level 3 hack... This is basically the... I mean, if I can hack level 3 things, I will be fine, yeah? Doesn't matter if it costs more batteries as well. I can level 4 hack in this game, Jesus. Ah, that might be one of the game endings to hack the keep as well or some shit. Yeah, could defeat the keep or hack it. I could imagine that. Alright, uh, have heals. Once again, we might craft, uh, we capture some really good robot and we can upgrade it as well. Oh, wait a second, there... Uh, oh, the game have nine stacks only. Okay, that's kind of nice to know. We can sell other cartridges. I'm kind of shooting rarely. It's not always a chance to shoot, yeah. one of the cores in case there's a stupid quest thing again. Alright. Oh. oh fuck, small room, three enemies. Looks like unavoidable damage incoming. Tier 1 though. 
Hmm. So. Uh, I don't think I can kill him. Uh. Yeah, I cannot kill. I have to take one damage guarantee. Yeah. If I get the pusher guy, it would be possible to kill this with double push. I mean, I could kill it manually, but I mean, this shit will pierce everything. Unavoidable damage, cool. Maybe computer will attack uh, this drone. Honestly, I couldn't dispose of this guy. <laughs> to be fair, freeze module really saving my ass because uh, it would be even worse without it. Oh, nice! Robot tank. That's epic. Alright, can I deal with this now? This unit doesn't have a shield, so we can do just some massive damage to it. Um, uh, but yeah. Sword attack is and freeze. Or even better, just kill right away. One, two, three, four. Need five movement for that. That feeling when knockback is actually getting in the way. <laughs> uh, well. Fist upgrade, I could have killed him, but there's so many enemies with shields. Oh, okay. Computer preferred to finish my guy. Fair enough. I'm not gonna capture these guys, they're outdated, kinda. Yeah, if I start a new run and I don't get a freeze module like one of the, them, <laughs> I'll probably waste more batteries on healing here. Also, this room doesn't have loot. Jesus. Scam after scam. Alright, we definitely need to control the unit next room. Or something. I don't wanna die yet! It died. Aha! There's a loot. I'll take it. It's one battery! Come on! Seven. At least uh, the the rooms with the um, uh, the NPCs are fun because not only there could be active the stings, but uh, if you save a couple of them, they, the HP transfers to a battery. So win win. Okay, we found exit. Nice. Wait, what the fuck is this? Yellow. Ah, this is a slightly more complicated puzzle. Yes, I know. There's the room and found something useful. A data pack from <laughs> it's like a portal key thing. <laughs> Ah, it's the Z-Zog, so it was not meant to the Zog. Alright. What if the penguin is gonna betray me? So why were you even doing that quest? 
Well, let's find out, I guess. Oh, there's more way to go. Well, then. So let's assume Penguin is in this this room. We have to go all the way back, unfortunately. So might as well explore entire shit. Still need to find a key, I mean. Right, I'll take everything I can. Oh, bruh. Even if I get her, don't treat me, I can look after myself. Okay. Dead end. Oh, shit. Wait, can I hack the turret? Probably not. <laughs> Oh, well, this guy is present. Mm, though... Wait, what happens if he rams into explosive? I guess explosive will move first and then explodes. Uh, I can mind control... Ah, wait, no, 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 I can only freeze it. God, this is irritating. Unavoidable damage incoming. And this will shoot me for free. Four enemies, yeah, versus two. It's not. And I cannot even hack anything right now. And I assume this doesn't have a safe spot. I mean, I really would like not to bother with this explosive here. And this will dash into one of my units and do double damage if I'm at the edge of the map, yeah. Because just a reminder, everything is a wall here. Mm, I mean, I could push this out of my sight, but it doesn't help me. Also not work. What to do? If I stay here, this guy will fist me. If I stay here, assuming that this is a safe spot. Then computer will probably move here and then shoot. Okay. Hey, Tress. This is like problem. This game have eight by eight uh, fighting rooms, yeah, and then there's a fucking guy who have three movement and three range dash with push built in. Very epic. I think I have to freeze it and then mind control it next turn, yeah. And, um. I'll go back distance. Well, computer will do double damage so that he hurts himself but does double damage to me. Probably he will do that. He's a piece of shit. But there's no safe spot. Either I stay in this line, then this shoots me, then if I stay here, then this fists me from behind. If I stay here... Yeah, this is fucking, I don't know. Not to mention everything I do is one damage only. Way. 
I'm just worried that I might even die and that will be bad. Yep, fist from behind and grenade. Okay. Ah, so computer didn't do the knockback on my direct damage. Okay. Wait, it does. Wait, it's fucking scam, dude. It actually. F so, this is level 2 unit, but it does three cost 3 battery? Why would you do that? I mean, so, yes, I get ability to hack stronger things, but I get punished for. Well, okay. It's not a huge deal, but it's still kind of unfortunate. the play here, kill the turret or um, if I kill a the turret then I'm exposed to double damage here. I definitely have to kill one more unit otherwise the death is imminent. Also can I push these things anyway? No, I don't think I can. It doesn't say it here but um, Ah, it's, it cannot be knocked back and hacking is impossible. Yeah, there we go. Next game. Well, maybe computer will decide to attack the robot instead. That's gonna be very nice. It would be very nice. Please. Oh, come on. Oh, Liam! Alright, well, we can freeze lock something. Can we kill that? I don't think so. I can if I uh, fist it. Then I'll take one damage again here. Fisting, fisting. Well, fist the Hida cannot have push, so I will definitely freeze lock him. So that's decent. What am I turn to freeze and then uh, just pretty much do the same attack and kill him next turn? I don't think I can do any clever combo here. Yeah, I, well, I can do 3 damage to him, but that's not enough. Yeah, it yeah, if I had one less HP, I'll be fucking dead. And that's game over. Still, I wonder who will computer decide to choose as a target. Probably my human target. Wait, I don't get it. How did he decide to choose? It's like it was literally random, I guess. Well, I guess I'm fine with them. Bashing in this game is very nice because this armor shit. Hey, a Kepka, nice to see you. Playing like. Uh, remember Into the Bridge? Well, this basically should tell you everything. Alright, cool. That was a little harsh indeed. Is there any even loot here? Yeah, there is. I noticed I think the bigger the box, like the server thing, it's probably gonna drop more. Batteries. Nah, never mind. Seems like it's random. Alright, we need to heal. Sure. I'm not gonna risk any non heal action. 
Yeah, the ma maxing the heal is probably one of the best investment here you can do. Hell yeah. I played by the way so much into the breach and the... Uh, I haven't even, like, there were so many achievements and unlocks for squads, alternative like squads, I didn't even finish it. But the game is quite old now, already most people already forget. Oh, здорово, Varan! I saw the Duke, or on the shit, I'm forget it. How do I loop here to the draw? Just a second. See it, it's the loop to stream it. See, see. Okay, cool. Ready. So, uh. I need heals now. Yeah. Oh shit! The imbalancer. Oh, maybe I should capture imbalancer? Oh, imagine. Kinda want to, but we'll see. It's so dangerous to be close. Like, I, I. Maybe I need to have uh, extra movement upgrades on my characters, because. This fucker have four range, flies across everything, and uh, two armor as well. It's pretty rough. Thirty-five boxes. Oh, that I that that is a several wishy of the cool quarter as well. It's a box of machines. Okay, let's see him. Well, I mean, there's nothing to see. There's danger everywhere. <laughs> So I assume I can... Ah, I probably cannot dash into this one range off. I was thinking about dashing into this container, pushing the cisterna and exploding it like that. And I cannot do that. I cannot do anything! Bram. I don't like it. I very much not like the idea of not doing anything. Yeah, one tile, not enough. Can I still dash them? Oh shit, I can. Oh, oh, he did. Ah, that's how it works. Unstoppable dash. Well, you're dead. <laughs> you are fucking dead. PC might bait some shots, but uh, not exactly. I have no safe spot against this, really. And take the damage. Alright, let's get closer. I might like stun lock. Okay. This is bad. Okay, so this is to attack. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. NPC Valor. We need to hack that thing. Yeah, well, this is the perfect moment for it, I guess. Oh, just got it. What's this? Enemy in the bridge? Nah, well, I mean, it have to, uh, two characters you control there, like, anime style, but that's it, basically, in terms of weakness. This is a solo project, uh, a solo project by the artist uh, who does uh, girls frontline gacha illustrations and other stuff like that. So a low budget, no marketing, all that, and uh, in English sphere as well. So this game have barely any so far attention, but thanks to maybe my stream, it's gonna help a little bit. But yeah, Into the Bridge is uh, it's puzzle battler here, yeah, uh, with limited resources and... S That's good for me. Так, что тут делать? Хакаем это говно. И стреляем в робота. This is something I don't know what to do, but about... I guess I'll take a hit. I can actually do big brain thing here. I can push this robot, then hack through here, and then move here and pierce everything. 
That might be actually the best thing to do here. Let's see if it's gonna work in my favor. I mean, I leveled hacking level 3 for this. This, this is the only uh, robot that's level 3 so far. It's probably another one, but... It's better be worth it. Three batteries. One HP. I wonder if AI will understand how to ram into... Well, he's probably gonna get a ram into uh, Naya. So, so this is actually kind of dangerous. So, will will I kill myself here? Because the robot have one HP. He's like I will pierce into this explosive. Ah, wait a second. I should probably. Ah, uh, yeah. It's yes, you see. Damn, I forgot about one thing here. If I do the pierce, it will destroy every object here, and he'll be able to dash. Plus, I don't know. So if I stay here and then uh, this meme will happen where I have never tested it, but like will the body of zero HP will get pushed into me from explosion and deal double damage? <laughs> I don't know. I think I did a mistake here. And I cannot kill this robot without doing damage to myself, yeah. Two damage as well. Disgusting. I think I have to hurt myself just because I'm scared. I don't have uh, the computer do damage to this robot. It's valid though. Yeah. So I'll do that. Ah, yeah, I have to deal damage to both of them. So it's three and yeah, four. It just really blows, man. Maybe I should just skip turn. Save, yeah, like, this is not worth it. Nah. Alright, good. That's decent. Yeah, I have to probably upgrade this robot and heal it afterwards. Well, now I won, but I just didn't want to take extra damage, you know? Kind of like trying to play safe. Yeah, I gotta be careful how I move with this guy because he have insane. Damage. I cannot upgrade knockback on a sword. Either. It's in the book. It's in his Alright, three batteries. Well, the, the loot box is hopefully worth it here. One battery, damn it. One granada. Oh, nice. Okay, well, if this room have like grenade launcher or something... Oh, I skipped the loot box thing. How can I do that? Disgraceful. It's also going a little deeper. I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, I definitely want to go back and maybe upgrade heal. With my HP here. Yeah. Probably will go back. I mean, do I have key? I forget, do I have key? Oh, I don't, so I might waste uh, time. Yeah, there might be key in this room for what I care. <laughs> Reach is kind of scary as well. So, uh, just in case I need to heal somebody, I'll just put the heal on uh, my hotbar. It's 
sort of this time fairly easily with that. Yeah, let's trust there's a K there and like no opponents or some shit. Yes, if I lose one character, I insta lose. Well, I mean, you can reload, but like I'm trying not to have an idea of reloading it. You know, meh. Oh, piece of shit. Two dashers, one bump. Alright. Well, I can insta kill bomb with a pierce shot, though this NPC is getting in the way. Yeah, reload. What the f okay, I can stun lock one dasher. So. so I'm still not sure. Like, the game kind of displays. I don't think I can stand on the texture. I can go through it, but not stand on it. Okay, let's see. Um, what's the play here? God damn it, this NPC is just bitch! I could have shot this for free with my... I haven't even used a single cartridge yet. Because I cannot do it. Like, these guys will dash from 6 range. 1, 2, 3, 4... They, there's no safe spot against them. In fact, even if I do the... 1, 2, 3... Doing like double damage to this NPC sucks then. I think I have to. Because I don't deal with any random explosions or knockback that's the side side of my control. Yeah, I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta make sure that it's uh the damage is minimized to only one damage per turn. Okay, so I'm just uh, trying to. So don't 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 get into any places where I can get knocked back into the shit. Shoot it once. It's probably not needed, but. Okay, that's perfect. That's, uh, best outcome. It's kind of hard to find a safe spot. Like, okay, <laughs> this robot might be a while as powerful. Like, how can I attack enemy without hurting myself? Because, once again, uh, if I move away... Like, when I attack, I'll, I don't have turn anymore, so I need to temporarily go out. Luckily, I can do that here. Otherwise, I'd be pretty fucking... Alright, well, we won... Uh... The moment there's one enemy left, he's fucked. Oh great NPC, thanks for blocking my way of attacking. I, I, oh yeah, we might test. Can I move on a tiles or just go through them? Since we have a combat here and stuff. Come on, go from behind. Do the. Yeah, I can understand on that. I can go through it. Makes sense. No way I can attack it without moving in. Ah, well, I guess I could have attacked with a like, weapon, but it's a waste of materials. And then get freeze through the range. Alright, AI, I give you the kill. Instead of finishing it myself. Oh, now you move from behind! <laughs> what? Pega! No key as well, yeah? Okay, I guess... Oh yeah, that was worth... that was worth the struggle. That's it, no more shinies, yeah? There was one shiny that I forgot about. Yeah, they'll 
there's a shiny. How did I forget? Ah, maybe I was disappointed by the NPCs here and, and like, no oh way. And then there's blood though. Okay, so let's review the floor. Everything is open except for those two and we haven't found a key yet. We also need to go back to that NPC. Time for heal and potential upgrade. Will I upgrade though you? Let's see the prices. Two f oh you can only upgrade HP and movement. Okay. I definitely want H uh, maybe, I don't know. I'm still deciding on that. Putting a shield module on this bitch and sending it to attack in a uh, well. Yeah, I this is some idea with that, sure. Instead of if I don't have range, putting a shield module. Hey Tony Gums, see you there. Oh I can sell this uh, the quest item for six batteries. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, but a grenades, I'm not upgrading them. Let's see reason to because everything has a shield. Alright, well, well uh, let's review. First of all, we need heals, yeah. A little bit. 4 HP per heal. But uh, Naya is kind of scary on uh, the, the 3 out of 6. I think I need to increase maximum life here or something. Um. Movement. I wonder what's maximum movement. 5, 6. Fans is still not needed, I feel like. Ah, it doesn't get uh, so... Ah, oh, never mind, you do get uh, that HP on level up. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I cannot upgrade defense more than two. Well, that's pretty much a good, <laughs> good clue that there's a... Uh... Well, even if enemy does three damage, which I don't know who will do it. The only way to get more than that is by exposing to some bash, dash, and uh, bounce mechanics, yeah. I want to believe in this guy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna meme the upgrade. It's theoretically a waste if you let, like, instead of this shit you can just let it die, yeah? And capture another one for, uh, like, some amount of batteries, yeah? But I'm gonna meme this. Can upgrade. Oh damn, we can upgrade even more. He guys he comes with two armor as well, so Dude, uh, maybe full meme on Full meme. I cancelled upgrade of fish pain. Oh he still can upgrade it. Okay. Well there we go, welder. Ah, you don't need a heal actually now as well, good. Um, <laughs> I'm trusting you, my man. Okay, so we definitely need HP. We're like... Gonna have to use one more. Alright, uh, let's save the rest. We might need to you know, travel back and forth quite a bit. Is HP? Been not using fist, honest. Well, she's busy doing freeze mechanics, so I'm happy with that. Can complain. All right, let's go find uh, Valor in the penguin room. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Wait, what? Oh, it's a gamma ray cartridge. What the fuck? Three day. What? Bruh. Seven range. Then she has everything that I've heard. There seems to be some exception. That's even. Wow. Finally, Dio might use something. Holy crap. Well, it's charge based, but. 
Oh, it penetrates the entire room. So I have two of those now. Even, like, this is three damage, so, well, it's probably enemies of double shield, but... Disgusting. So that's what we get as a reward here. Interesting. I assume we're starting to get those uh, as well now, in, as a random drop, and we might sell them. Fuck. Oh, new type of uh, spider. Special robot responsible for a facility security steering uh, clear of its wide area attacks will be wise. Grenades. Range 3 grenades. I still don't know if uh, freezing cancels shield, by the way, I couldn't test that. But if I stay there and block the path, then yeah, it sucks. I want to... Pe uh, I guess I need to kick stop engineer. Ah, wait, I can one-shot engineer, right? Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. This is a level of one cleaner, yeah? Yeah, easy. Imagine one-shotting a three HP unit. Too bad there's uh, not enough space to maneuver. I could have it locked or killed it. With... Right, well, let's just play safe. Stun locking that spider unit would be very lovely. Okay, thanks for cleaning the space. <laughs> Nice, I can stun lock this shit. So it doesn't part. Well, to be fair, this grenade. So we have a unit that have infinite amount of grenades, yeah, so. So almost no safe spot from it in knockback. Is, uh, I still don't know if they're. D I think the knockback damage doesn't. Like, there was uh, on turret the knockback damage, yeah? This one doesn't say it. So maybe. You only get damage if it's centered on you. But still, like if there's nearby items, objects, they'll get pushed. Okay, so can we kill this thing? Nah. Unless I use the gamma again. Don't deal with that shit. Okay, if I go a spider, is that good? Freeze this. So, spider can be only used like this, yeah. Ah, well, maybe we can just chill. So, if the spider drone is here, it does his grenade here. It will not do any damage, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, so I think we might have a safe play then. If not, that's fine. Ah, lol, I keep forgetting that. It's fine though. Ah, lol, fuck me. Oh, that was a bad misplay. Yeah, I forgot that move is a possible. 
Uh, well, he hurt himself, but that's just disappointing. Well, I am gonna heal myself anyway here. Yeah, yeah, I see what I have done wrong here. Nobody stopped me though from this misplay. Oh, it, does it explode? Oh, fuck. Did I just lost the game? Oh, I, I need to freeze it, yeah. Wait, the shit might explode and it will uh, push me in the back and I'll like get hit twice. From the Nye body and then from this. Oh my god, I could have actually just lost the game. Maybe, I don't know. Fuck knockback mechanics. <laughs> I'll just do it safe. Well, it seems like it didn't detonate. But yeah. That was a little bit scary. Nope, I'm not dying just yet. Не умру, пока еще не умру. О, seven and one, damn. Жираем батареечки. Okay, I think we're fine. Ah, oh yeah, I'm still like. Trying to find a key in here. He's very being elusive this this floor. Pretty scary how it's elusive. Hey, puzzle time. AK nothing special. Oh eleven. Hell yeah. I told you, this upgrade will be worth it. <laughs> Whoa. Four dashers, cool. Uh, whatever, well... Pierce memes, not exactly good, doesn't damage anything. How we can minimize damage? Let's find out. Gamma ray. Yeah. Just let them disease that deal with that guy, honestly. <laughs> okay, so we like freeze this guy, yeah, and start harassing this unit. Friendly's over here. Friendly's over here. Come on, kill. Why are you attacking different targets? You gotta die faster. Alright, so if I push, that will not explode that, I think. Oh, that's a probably perfect way to experiment with ideas. So if it, this tank explodes, we'll hear. Well, yeah, it's gonna push. Then. This box into the him. I just wanted to know whenever, if I push the box with damage, what will happen first, explosion or push? Um, it'd be nice to kill them faster. 
gonna do that. I'm just gonna get exchange hits and take damage. Honestly, I cannot see how I can do anything different here. Unfortunately. Oh, it hurt mine, though. Aha, there we, so it stops it, that push, yeah, so the container push that, push that. Okay. Good. Sorry, my man. Oh, they're gonna bump each other. <laughs> I don't know if it was the best idea, by the way. Oh, come on, NPC. <laughs> Can kill that, or that. Oh really? You could what? You you didn't want to attack this guy first? Yeah, I calculated that he will block. It. All right. Well, there. Should I heal you now? I don't know. Kill this robot or uh, waste gamma charge thing. I think I should let the. Um, AI attack robot, hopefully. And then I can heal. Yeah. Because otherwise I feel shitty by using heal when it's only 3 HP there. Come on, attack me. The lone. That was bad because now I'm gonna lose the one battery. And I have conflicted feelings about healing that. Alright, cool. Um, there's still boxes. Wait, no key? Wait, I'm literally gonna find the key in the last possible room. Well, to be fair, the layout of this floor was lucky. Like, I'm not wasting too much by backtracking. I'm kinda happy about that. Alright. Ah, heal! Heal! I have to make sure Robot doesn't die. I mean, I... Maybe I should just upgrade HP again. <laughs> ah, wait, if I do that, then there's gonna be plus one HP. Alright, fuck it, let's go greed mode. Full greed. Even that expensive. Four batteries for uh, healing. I'm gonna go all in into this guy. What if there's a better robot? To <laughs> there was level four hack, wasn't that there? By the way, I should kind of remember that part. No, not maxing out my own character's HP or something. No, it's just... Oh, I can still upgrade more. I guess. Oh, shit. All the research data was blown away. It took three months to complete it. 
will be blown away. Too bad. Oh yeah, do I have like grenades to sell? Nah. Well, that's the only way to left. Did I touch that? You guys made a lot of noise. My prayer was interrupted. God is sending angel here to judge evil. Those who, what? And those who didn't pray will be punished. I'm going to heaven because they keep guides me. So don't disturb me again. I'll shoot anything that gets in my way. Okay, that's gotta be the key. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Lord six hype. I'm gonna regret on buying it, isn't it? Okay, so let's review them. So if I upgrade hacking module again, it's gonna be like four cost here. Yeah? Disgusting. Yeah, I can. <laughs> well, maybe in the last floor. I don't know what's the last floor though in this game. At this point, I think I need to upgrade movement for some characters. I think 9 needs movement because she's like the big brain. Yeah. Oh, 5 movement points is the maximum. Okay. Defense kind of makes sense to level up with this, but uh, we'll see. I mean, if there's a lot of tier 3 enemies, then maybe. Is kind of whatever, I can just heal it. Laser cartridge level 3 <laughs> seems also okay. But I have gamma thing now. Range on uh, freeze module maybe is fine as well. Well, let's go and see what the next floor is all about. Thick robot. I mean, we're assuming that we just have to fix her uh, battery issue, yeah, so... But the game might end actually in this floor as well, I don't know. Oh, look at that music. Yeah, the music is definitely a good part. Good commissions. They're rocking. I wonder if it's limited, like I will never find more of that gamma thing. Oh yeah. Some voice... thing... Uh, voice... Uh, how is it called? In music, like um... Not clip, but um... I don't know what's the correct term for that. Not not notes either. Like a small audio clip. Well, yeah, audio clip, I guess. Whatever. Is that the quest place? We finally arrived. This computer is the central AI. Maru. It's huge. Is it working though? It's probably eroded right now, but I really need Maru to fix an AI generator. Okay, let's hack it. Can I handle something so big? Give it a shot. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Maru, the central AI of the Mirin. Oh, it worked. Please tell me your names. I'm Nana. I'm Dio. Kono Dio da. 
Administrator privileges granted. Check in database. We have confirmed an emergency injury to the facility in the last log. It's caused by an identified object called the cube and a large amount of human and material damage from the First, let's start with nine repair. I'm, I'm doing this because nine internal nuclear fusion reactor is broken. Can you repair it? It is possible. Please wait until it, in the engineering chamber in the far left. Oh. Just gonna be as simple as that. How do you feel? Perfect! I don't feel my reserves dropping every time I lose them anymore. However, hacking will still require battery so I still have to be careful. Ah, so we actually have the ability to move anywhere we want them? Damn. I'm glad you're fixed. Where's the cube though? The cube is now observed to be on the 8th floor. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we know how deep this game goes. Can you possibly initialize the remaining robots? It is not possible to undo the erosion of the cube with my own authority. Instead, I will upgrade Spark among Dio's weapons. The security robots at upper Alaire are super powerful. They can be difficult to defeat with the weapons Dio currently has. Good luck. Damage increased. Three damage? Well, I mean, thank you, because, but here's the worst part about this. Enemies with two shields will mean that one damage, so it doesn't do anything, really. Well, maybe I can still upgrade it further myself. Okay, so we have like three floors left. I'm not sure if I can finish uh, on the stream unless I do the night mode. I'll probably have to finish up soon. So like a cliffhanger for you guys maybe to finish the run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like perfect YouTube video bait and you know, showcase a little bit and then don't show the ending for the run. Combat music and oh. Oh, another new track. Damn, I'm satisfied. Is that the same engineers? Tier 2 spider. Damn. Hacking level 4. Disgusting. Wait, hacking permanent grenade unit? That would be pretty good. Oh, I have a grenade launcher with 2 damage and 4. Uh, Range and also uh, this is a bra moment, but I cannot go back on my unit that I invested like with four upgrades, aka uh, eight. So yeah, the, the core costs three, right? <laughs> All the but I don't know what to do here. Oh yeah, two shields by them is garbage. God, I have all these gamma shots where they're blocking the way here. Just no idea how I can go and move here and stuff. Come to these units, you just have to destroy objects that they touch them. Oh, I think I know the play here. I can freeze through my own... Yeah, there we go, we can freeze the spider. Just gonna do it like this. This is really good, we're gonna kill that for freezing. Yeah, maybe I should upgrade freeze to range 3. So that... Uh, there will be less issues in the future. I just hope the, they don't have a connection here. Yeah, good, nice. Perfect. So, what's next? I need more movement. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My gun does only two damage now. Sad bonus misses. <laughs> They're gonna just like electrocute everybody. Mm, 
Yeah, I have to stack together no, no matter what, because otherwise I'm blocked. Can I kill this by the way? Nah, it's two shields, fuck no. I'm fine, I should have here, be a little bit more specific, I should have been telling that. I mean, Nai is also a robot, and uh, I'm going to hurt myself with pushes as well. Shield will do, I mean, sword will do one damage to him, so, and I cannot push him into the OBX. I have to freeze block. A lot of damage. Better than this shit. Yeah, if this gun was upgraded, I could have killed that super stuff. Oh, they decided to attack. Oh, that's the best. They're not gonna stack. Ah, they cannot do that because. Dude, really? Wait, 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 what? You have not back on a gun? You just hurt me for no reason. Shotgun cartridge. Nah. Bra moment. Okay, what can I stomach? One, two, three, four. Ideally, I want this guy. I can just kill both of them, yeah. Perfect. So now AI can... The AI doesn't care, it just damages me. <laughs> well, we might test uh, whenever shield is disappearing now. This doesn't... Oh, the shield disappears with the freeze, okay. Epic game remove here. Hell yeah. Alright, so I just took a little damage, nothing too bad. To find a uh, 3D printer. <laughs> yeah, we're not be a post upgrade speed and maybe range and freeze to make it a little better. I mean, we actually literally don't have that many things to upgrade anymore that are valuable, like, truly valuable. Okay. Oh yeah, oh, level f What the fuck is that? Scanner that uses high frequencies to analyze certain... No, that's not that. Heavy cleaner. Three damage punch. Just like that. Ah, so that's pretty much a key for me to get the... Second shield on nine, I guess. Yeah, this floor is a little serious for sure. The four enemies and spider engineer. My gimmicky unit is cool, but it kind of doesn't have the oomph that need to, Like, I there's no way I can one shot anything here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Can I pierce? How much movement is... wait, it's, uh, 3, you know? Ah, it's level 3 hack all I was expecting level 4. It's probably gonna fist the uh, survivor. Spiders, I hate dealing with that shit. I'm honestly excited to see if Dio's sword can upgrade even more after that event. Very unlikely to deal with two units at the same time. Can't even reach. One, two, three, four. Gamma shit will not kill this, right? 
Okay, so I have to take damage no matter what. But unfortunately, the spider is such an annoying position. Okay, if I had um, There. Um. I guess one thing I can do is kill that penetration garbage. Oh, that's actually probably the play here, yeah. We're using a gamma. It can be pierced. <laughs> there we go. So thick it doesn't even get destroyed. Alright, so let's see. Uh, if I freeze this, then. Yeah, that's fine. You cannot fist me from the same uh, angle. Alright, you're on yourself, bro. Hopefully, you'll back out. Oh shit, there was that a dasher? Oh, clever. Good job, good job. That's a very good move there. Wait, this was it a dasher? Oh my god, I didn't even realize it. I got lucky. A dasher. Okay, I gotta admit, this is the first time this unit rocks because I can just fly through obje objects and uh, even finish off this unit. Which is a huge deal to save HP here. Hell yeah, dude. Stay away from uh, that garbage. Take double damage, unfortunately, but you know it's your fault. I guess there's a big brain thing with a shield ability. If I had it, by the way, so I can put a shield on allies, I assume. But for that, I need to upgrade crazy range. As well. It's kind of like Urtok uh, priest. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least we saved him. Epic. Whoa. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna die before I get into the... Like, I have so much resources in and I'm ready. Still not healing that. Alright, I think it's a dead end, but... The key might be anywhere. Grenades. So yeah, I have a feeling this gamma will never drop by itself. I have maybe somewhere like level seven I can produce it. Um alright, that's it, yeah. Two turrets? Ugh. Scum. Yeah, well, they're not upgraded. Hopefully there's no upgradable version. <laughs> Alright, so... How much damage I can do? Three, uh, two, yeah. So... I 
to just one shot one of the turrets and mind control the other one. I mean, uh, not mind control, but a freeze. Well, that's cool. That's flawless. Is that a flawless? It is. I'm gonna forget to check that action amount thing. There's gotta be units in the game with the multiple actions, isn't it? Why would that staff would be in the game, right? I'm not getting jibbated. Yeah, this is surprisingly free win for my composition. Oh, I like loots. And well, ah, we we have no problem with backtracking. And, uh, yeah, I forgot we have. Uh, <laughs> there's no batteries. In it. Yeah, we, we fixed that problem. NPC super spider. I don't feel like wasting gamma charge on this. I mean, it's tier 2 robot. Like, I get it, I will get hit, but whatever, I guess. Yeah, if I had range 3 hack. Oh, I can explode this in their face. For wolves. Little Valor, man. Little Valor. If I didn't fuck up with the exercise, maybe I did. Can Spider move? Let's hope a computer will not figure out how to use grenades. In a way that it will instantly kill me. Yeah, I have range 4 there, but you need to have like a perfect line. Aside for that. Oh, you come on, dude! Yeah, that's. I should have predicted that. It pushed me exactly where I need to be pushed. Well. Yep. Nah, I think I can kill all of them. Find printer because I might actually run out of H heals and then uh, that's gonna be my game in the condition. Six grenades, wow. That's a lot of energy. Okay, where's my knife? Knife! Need your. Well, obviously tank needs a heal. 
robot also needs a heal now. But I mean, realistically, I could like lose it. Yeah. I have only one heal left. Alright, I'll save the heal in my hot bar instead of fist. I better use that fist anyway. I still want to heal it. I just because so much extra life and I take three extra. I don't really where I go here. It's free. have a full stack of grenades that's uh, 18 almost batteries if I sell them. Okay. Well these are, I assume these floors now gonna be bigger because of no restriction on battery, just like a late game invisible ink stuff. Scream over here. I'm trying to like figure out where the printer could be, maybe here. Damn, what a tease. <laughs> well, printer is definitely not in uh, the small room like this. Come on, printer! Alright guys, I know I'm kind of excited to finish up the game or run it, it doesn't matter here. It's multiple endings. But I have it in the stream for the day. Um, I could have theoretically go night mode for this title, but since it's like a showcase via a stream slash video, if you're watching that video, to YouTube, I mean, then uh, yeah, I, I kind of don't want to do the like uh, without the voice or showcase related things. Maybe extra content, sure, but not on the demonstrations uh, video. All right. Yeah, I am uh, satisfied. It's like not complex or anything. It's just, uh, of course, now that you know the mechanics, I know them. Like I'll play it faster, and uh, it's definitely like one of the fast-paced, you know, eight by eight rooms or even smaller. This is like what four by eight, I assume. Yeah. Four by eight, I assume, yeah. So it's like half of the size, and when there's like, a bunch of objects, it's hard to maneuver through there. Yeah, very satisfied. Surprisingly, no issues, no bugs, which is uh, pretty cool for a solo project like that. Definitely, like you know, um, definitely a visible uh, effort and balance uh, and uh, other th small things like that. Will it be a mobile version? I don't know. You can ask on Twitter the creator uh, and, or in Steam forums. I linked on uh, Twitter the developers in case you want to do some feedback and all that. But yeah, this game definitely makes sense for mobile, but well, it's probably costs money as well. Finish the game to discover music. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll either I do it on the next uh, stream slash video or uh, might do like YouTube exclusive thing as well. I will just lock up and record the end of this run. Because I have like 20 games, you know, including the Star Stone Shard and many others. Hope you enjoyed that today's um, demonstration of the game that it's supposed to just release. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna get too much attention unless some huge streamer on Twitch is gonna like suddenly cover it, which is kind of hard to believe, but that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, maybe it's the developer will uh, also check out. Vods and, and uh, appreciate some of the commentary and all your feedback. Yeah, I cannot finish the run right now. On the, on the stream, it's too late for me right now. 
And speaking of which, developer retweeted me, but it's a little too late. Oh no, they noticed me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's too late for me. Have a great one. I'll leave a comment on YouTube when I'm gonna plug this there, if you all have something to tell. Maybe you can direct me in some similar games like this or Into the Bridge. I mean, I like the genre and gameplay style. But I'm doing my best to discover those type of things myself or through the people on Discord or Twitter. Who's uh, uh, tagging me into developer-related tweets, announcements and stuff like that. Once again, I appreciate that, by the way, those who are doing those activities. And uh, just uh, one of the fun things to do, honestly, on Twitter. Good night. Stay cozy. And I'll see you soon.